Hello, hello, everybody. Today, we are going to be beginning our Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom playthrough. Because lately, we've just been on a Breath of the Wild tear, as you can see. Earlier in the streams, I managed to beat Breath of the Wild for the first time and do a lot of things that I just never, like, did in my previous attempted playthroughs, both on and off stream. And then, Age of Calamity, I, like, uh, I believe I beat the main story before, but it was a long time ago. And also, I didn't do everything, so a lot of bits that I forgot and a lot of bits that I never got to, like the second credits, which was a lot of fun. And now, finally, the sequel to Breath of the Wild. And I only know bits and pieces of this one. From Twitch chat, howdy, how are we doing today? We are doing good, and we're just about to begin. I was just, just rattling off some of the slight things that I know about Tears of the Kingdom from just, like, uh, which the word, uh, pop cultural osmosis spoilers. Of course, from the trailer, I know Ganondorf does exist, somehow, which is interesting. Always a fan of Ganondorf, so it'll be interesting to see how he is in this game. And I know this takes place, of course, after Breath of the Wild. I know that there's going to be, like, Sky Island things and an underground. And those will play a part. And uh, otherwise, I just know some weird animal guy gives Link his arm. Like a ghost arm that's able to do magic shit. So... Don't know too much. Oh, and I also know two hilarious things that are targeted basically purely at me, it feels like. First off, Cass just doesn't appear in the game, apparently? Like, sure, he got his own, like, well, not his own, but he was heavily involved in the Champion's Ballad DLC, so... I guess it's not terrible that he doesn't show up in Tears of the Kingdom, but it is quite odd. And then, I don't know, like, in context how much it matters, but also apparently Rivali is only mentioned once, and that is in the, like, Great Bow description that was copied over from Breath of the Wild, which is also hilarious. My two favorite characters, not even there, not even mentioned. Which is doubly hilarious, because apparently only, like, three characters from Breath of the Wild don't appear in Tears of the Kingdom, from what I hear. So it's just hilarious that Cass, one of my favorite characters, and a breakout character from Breath of the Wild, just isn't there. And I don't even really think is mentioned in Tears of the Kingdom. And now, like, at least with Rivali, it makes sense. He died a hundred years ago. And, like, other champions probably won't be mentioned as much. Like, Urbosa might not be mentioned too much. Mifa is more likely to be mentioned a lot because she has a statue in Zora's Domain and characters who were alive when Mifa was alive exist still, so it makes sense for her to be talked about. Daruk, maybe, because he's, like, a legendary, like, Goron guy. He has his own statue. So it's just, like... So long as Arbosa doesn't get mentioned, Ravali will be par with other champions. But, uh, still kind of sad. <laughs> My two favorite characters that, like, at least, with Rav at least Ravali got a good amount of focus in Age of Calamity. And some, like, slight character rerailment of, like, oh, he's not a complete jerk. He's prideful, but he's nice of kids. There was at least that. Age of Calamity has my back. And not sure how well the story of Tears of the Kingdom will go. Mostly because it could have the same, like, issue, quote-unquote, as Breath of the Wild, where it is an open-world game, so they can't really tell a linear story. They have to basically place, like, hey, go here, do this story moments. Well, which, again, I guess they could do more story like that where you have to go to these places, but at the same time, it depends. If they abandon the, oh, you can just rush towards the end gimmick of Breath of the Wild, maybe there can be more story? We'll have to wait and see. But enough preamble. Let us jump in to Tears of the Kingdom. 
Damn it. <laughs> like, I played you yesterday. What do you mean I have to update? Fine. All that preamble, because, like, and then we'll jump in, and then... The Switch is like, No. We are going to update, you fool. Hilarious. And from YouTube chat, hello. Here we are finally, indeed. We shall see how it goes. And now we begin Tears of the Kingdom without any more preamble. Ding. But it'll be interesting to see if they, like, change anything majorly. Because I don't know anything about the story. All I know is that, like, Ganondorf exists. And, like, Link loses an arm. It's basically it. The Legend of Zelda. Tears of the King. All right, footsteps. Is it Link and Zelda going through the underground? Like in the trailer? I forget if Zelda cut her hair at the end of this strange gloom keeps Breath getting of the thicker. Wild. Still, nice look. And the strange gloom. So I guess they came here because ooh, strange gloom, weird. Let's go We've been under. for a while now. Investigate. These tunnels are deeper than I thought. What could be down here? Well, obviously a mummy. Uh, a mummy, Zelda, Princess of Hyrule. Oh, do we get control? <laughs> this Link, this Link would kick my Link's ass. Beneath Hyrule Castle. Okay. Ooh. New menu. Okay. Action. Put away. Jump. Okay. Same thing. Very interesting. New UI. I did not see you this UI before. Special controls. We'll look at that. Amiibo. I, I don't really use Amiibo. Camera sensitivity. Disable the motion controls. I'm, it's not really for that when it comes to aiming. Swap jump. Nah. Everything else should be fine. What about special controls? Well, that's ominous! Sure. Interesting music in this, yeah, strange gloom. Also interesting because we went from a talking, like, cutscene straight into gameplay. That's new, I think. Normally it's like fades and stuff. People have been falling ill. After coming into contact with the gloom drifting through these caverns. All right, that explains why we're here. Though here it seems almost misty and not concentrated enough to harm us. Hmm. We'll keep going. With it coming up from beneath Hyrule Castle. That's also ominous. <laughs> Underneath Hyrule Castle. We do not know what waits below. Where so Calamity we be Ganon came anything. from. But I know I'll be okay with you, Link. Well, considering there has to be Let's an inciting incident, I think you have put your faith in the wrong guy. <laughs> he is a, a Link that could kick my Link's ass, but still. Also, I don't have a shield for some reason. Link thinks he's too good for shields. He used them all for shield surfing. I do wonder where this even is. Did we find a hidden cavern downwards? Because these are, like, constructed stairs. So this was a man-made place in, like, lots of ruins. Hmm. I never imagined this was all deep beneath Hyrule Castle. Noise? Sword? Huh? Link! Yeah, the Master Sword. It's being weird. Yeah, the Master Sword. I heard that noise. Wait. Hmm. It must be sensing something. This also makes me think, I'm going to have to get the Master Sword back, aren't I? 
<laughs> from YouTube chat. Hello, people. Hello, hello. Oh. Oh, there's a log feature. Neat. I just looked at that. I was like, ooh, cool. So we can look back on conversation. That's nice. I knew we had a reason for concern. Ever since the end of the Calamity, the castle has fallen into neglect. And the 100 years of it being overrun with malice didn't cause it to fall into neglect? Uh, sure. <sighs> Calamity Ganon. Corruptive and evil, but in loves interior decorating and is a big fixer-upper. While in between his healing and reconstructing himself of guardian technology, he was nailing up the windows. But I never could have imagined anything like these tunnels were hiding here. <gasps> also, I just realized, you actually have a torch. That's not like the normal torch. That's like an actual ooh, big torch. Big torch! Just realized that, and now it's just sticking in my head. We must be careful as we move deeper. So far, I'm digging the ambiance. I'm digging the storytelling. I also like the new fit. Like the chainmail underneath the champion's cuirass. Or not cuirass, but champion tunic. Alright. Egg-like light fixtures? Oh, examine. Link, look here. Writing? <laughs> Had to walk all the way across. These are ruins from an ancient civilization. Wait, something is written here. Might these ruins be from the Zonai? If I remember correctly, there were a place called the Zonai Ruins in, like, the very jungly area where, like, the Hardy Durians grew in Breath of the Wild, I believe. So interesting that there are Zonai Ruins underneath Hyrule Castle as well. Also, <laughs> t to put this into perspective, technically there were already ancient, like, civilization things with the Sheikah stuff from 10,000 years ago. How old are these ruins? How old are these ones? They're 20,000 years old. Or I guess maybe they could be, like, a secondary lost ancient civilization that was lost, like before or, like, around the Sheikah ruins as well. Lots of possibility. Also, I have, like, a little pouch. Swing sword. Why is it telling me to swing sword? That's... A bit ominous. Also neat that she's using the... Hmm. <gasps> These carvings. I'm sure they're Zonai in origin. I've seen designs like this in my studies. The Zonai are said to have lived long ago in the time of earliest legend. They possessed godlike powers and had a prosperous civilization in the sky. Are the Zonai just like... The Skyward Sword people? That'd be funny. Actually, that'd be hilarious. The Zonai Ruins in the jungle is like the touchdown point after uh, Skyward Sword. I've never played Skyward Sword, but I need to on my 3D Legend of Zelda journey. And from YouTube chat, I've defeated Ganon in Zelda Breath of the Wild, and I've done it the game. Huzzah! Congratulations. Or you can continue it and go back and do other things that you have missed. <laughs> Unless you already did, like, reasonable 100% just lacking the Korok Seeds, because Korok Seeds are not part of 100% completion. It should never be. Many history books tell us about the Zonai, but none give us the full picture. Much is still unknown about them. And there have just been ruins underneath Hyrule Castle this entire time? Ooh! Statues. Neat statues. Those statues there. Hmm. It's like the face is the most detailed part and then they get really cartoony at the bottom. Is this what the Zonai looked like? They seem so different than us. And such large ears. Explorers going into Egypt. My god! 
this sphinx thing. Is this what the Egyptians were like? <laughs> it could just be an artistic piece, you know. Their version of angels. Our world, like, our civilization crumbles, people come in. My god, humans had wings a long time ago. <laughs> also, nice Rito bird Sony you made. Yes. Originally, I wanted to make a whole PNG tuber, but that would take a lot of effort. <laughs> maybe, maybe. Also, <laughs> actually, yeah, such large ears. We say, as Hylians, with the big ears. How did the ruins from a civilization in the sky end up here beneath the castle? It looks like the path ahead goes even deeper. Let's continue, Link. Also come to realize, I wonder how long it's been since Breath of the Wild. Like, enough that, like, Zelda has been touching base with other people, going like, oh, the gloom has been making people sick. But it, this gloom is very wispy, and it isn't... Like, apparently it's a lot of gloom to know that we've tracked it here, but it's not enough to affect us. Get out of here. I smacked them off. Are you they were keys. I don't even have a shield or a bow. Also, where did you get fancy digs like that? Ooh. Look at these murals. Well, there's Ganondorf, Moblins, Bacoblins. <sighs> and yeah, like a malice, corruption. of the royal family include stories of a great war fought long ago. It was a conflict between allied tribes and someone only ever referred to as the Demon King. Yeah, that's Ganondorf, all right. <laughs> we got Max Hearts, exactly, that's why. Is it possible? <laughs> this Link would kick my Link same legend? so hard. <sighs> Ooh. I want to look at these in more detail. The statues we saw earlier. Yeah, that's a like Zonai. a. And these figures look like Hylians. Yeah. Very interesting. This depiction certainly suggests that the Zonai descended from the heavens. Hmm. <gasps> also, <laughs> creepy music in the background. It is said that my ancestors, the first of Hyrule's royal family, Born ah. from a union with gods who had descended from the heavens. They were furries. My kind of Hylians. These murals tell a similar story. And if they are accurate, then the gods mentioned were the Zonai. Why is there quotation they marks in a, a circle? They relationship with the Hylians of that time, working together to establish... Hyrule? The kingdom of yeah. Hyrule. This That's figure. interesting. He seems to be stealing something of incredible power from the young kingdom. Is that like the Triforce of Power? Then the other two is our so courage and wisdom, the quotation marks? Studies. Maybe. And then this. It shows the Demon King. Who is a man. And a fierce battle against him. <clears throat> if the creature depicted here really does That's represent creepy. the Demon King, then... He even has horns. He was the source of calamitous gaminous. This mural must be the great war recorded in the royal histories. Also, there are flying monsters. Don't like this that. This is the imprisoning war and the events that led up to it. It's like he's dropping a sun on him. This is a huge discovery. I like that it was creepy music and she's just like, oh boy, archaeology. <laughs> From YouTube chat. Neon, oh, hi. Friend. Hello, hello. We this invention of Pura's. I'm glad I didn't leave it behind. Oh, it's not a Sheikah so Slate. It's actually a camera. You point it and click. Oh. It's like a modified Sheikah Slate. Well, it looks like the rest of the murals are obscured. <laughs> Time. Just do we have the Sheikah Slate to place. bomb? Or are we going to come back here later and bomb those? More answers farther ahead. Yeah, where it seems to get even deeper Link. and creepier. Let's keep moving deeper. Also, uh, uh, you just have the thought, since I, we don't have the Sheikah Slate, apparently, to bomb that, we are definitely coming back here 
with the Sheikah Slate to bomb all that at a later point in the story, and that's going to reveal more of the story. Like, more of the imprisoning war. Okay, I like that. A little miffed that the keys didn't drop anything for me. You know, very, very cool. We got some lore. We got hints of new lore that we will get eventually. All right, so concentrated gloom seems to be dispersed by natural, well, maybe just fire. Maybe, although if gloom only comes out at night, that'll make nighttime travel even scarier. The creepy music is not helping. <laughs> I was I was gonna joke, like, oh, I haven't played any horror games for October. I, welcome to the horror game atmosphere. Really digging the vibes, though. This is a very cool and different opening compared to Breath of the Wild, which I do appreciate. I swear, the music kind of reminds me of, like, the Twily, uh, Twilight Princess kind of music. Or maybe some kind of Metroid Prime instrumentation. I feel like the camera's pulled way back. <laughs> yeah, the thank you game. Maybe I just hit the wall. Force the camera closer. Oh. Oh, boy. So some kind of ceiling magic. Oh, gi giant! What the hell is that? Uh -huh. The green light in the distance. I'm having the strange sensation. This is also ominous. Ominous indeed. <laughs> very, very ominous and weird. Very weird. And the music just keeps building. What is this place? And also, why does it feel like there's just a bunch of pointed rocks pointing at presumably Ganondorf from the trailer? Let's continue, Link. But we must be extremely careful. What do you mean, not yet? I can't exactly go back. There's nowhere to go. Well, okay. Unless there's like, ooh, you can do a secret, super secret thing to change What's the outcome that? of the game. Alright, so there's a <laughs> there's a mummified hand <laughs> pressing down on the mummified Ganondorf. And oh and the hand fell off. Why did the hand fall off? Why do, are we getting a quotation mark? Why did the hand fall off now? I guess well I guess the body is emanating the gloom, and the gloom is apparently coming out a lot more, so it's been falling. Like the hand has been falling off for ages now. And now he's just back and alive. Oh, this is from the trailer, I was gonna say. And those are Calamity Eyes. Wait, why do we not have... Oh! Oh! <laughs> oh! So that's what happens. It just burnt my arm off. And the Master Sword. Sword. What? Was Th that the sword that seals the darkness? The blade that shatters so easily against my power cannot save you from me. So easily? I no. did a DLC for that. And he knows his name. <laughs> it knows his name. Is that fragile sword? A link. Well, I guess. You fought us before. His faith in you. And that was all you could do. How do you know our names? Repeating histories. How did you flash the Master Sword? You're pushing... You're pushing that out of the sky, aren't you? You're gonna raise the Hyrule Castle into the sky. Ganon's moving castle. Well, at least nobody's presumably living in Hyrule Castle yet. Oh, uh, there is there gonna go Zelda's Tower? Oh nope, Zelda's Tower remains. Jesus.
And this is um, dehydrated get. And you just <laughs> happily falling to the ground. Okay. Okay. Everyone's falling. She's gonna rip off your hand, isn't she? Also, how's that gonna save her? You have no grounding. And now you both fall. We are all falling. It, 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 uh, 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 did she teleported away? I guess that makes sense. Uh, okay, hand. Thank you very much for activating. Why couldn't you keep him sealed? Also, who is Rauru? Is it a furry god? Okay, some Sheikah freaking out. Apparently there was a new construction project. Oh, Sheikah and, like, Hylian people. Racist, no Zoras, Gerudo, or... Yeah, there's not even a Gerudo. <laughs> Only Hylians and Sheikahs are allowed. But yeah, much more action-packed than Breath of the Wild. <laughs> and again, the, the Master Sword just got blasted to smith the wings. Ah, oh, it's like those eye floaters. They'll heal Link. So yeah, you've, you, I guess either the ghost hand grafted on to Link, or maybe it just decoupled its like apparatus and put it on Link's hand, because that is not nearly as skinny. But it still kind of looks fucked up. Oh, he has tattoos. He will no longer be allowed into any onsen in Japan. And his hair grew, so ta <laughs> Did Link die again? Get rejuvenated again? Why did the ghost hand strip off his clothes? Okay, maybe it is kind of skinny, just in the fingers. Does look a bit odd. Ah, Link. Finally, you wake. Who are you? Are you my Navi? Are you in my hand? Also, these are I've different boxers. Time has changed. From Zelda. from Zelda? What do you mean? Your wounds were severe. I am relieved to see you escape death. And you didn't even need a resurrection pod. Your arm, however, was beyond saving. I had to replace it, lest the injury endanger you further. <laughs> didn't even lose it battling Calamity Ganon. Lost it in the first few minutes of the game. Hilarious. Oh, hello, destroyed Master Sword. It's like the hilt. Am I gonna be beating off Keese with just the hilt of the Master Sword? Gotta say, Link is rocking the fuller hair. Can't even pick it up, it's just examine. Oh, nope, can pick it up, but it's destroyed. <laughs> okay, so it is a weapon. New icon for damage. Blue. Decayed Master Sword. The sword that seals the darkness. Its sacred power has been diminished after being ravaged by the gloom beneath Hyrule Castle. Fi, I'm sorry, you just got blasted. Yeesh. Yeah, I was, you, you gave me that prompt in the tunnels. But man, Link just got his shit rocked. At least it took like a hundred years of rejuvenation to sink him down in like the last game here. It's just one boss fight. All right. Apparently this is a uh, handprint scanner. It kind of need to has like an eye motif. Maybe that's where the Sheikah get it. Also, that is a much bigger hand than mine. What'd that do? Oh, a teleportation portal, maybe. This will be our new shrine of resurrection. We can teleport here later, probably. I already like that this has a distinct styling compared to, like, the ancient Sheikah. 
So, like, even though it is Ancient Civilization to Electric Boogaloo, it has its own, like, distinct vibe to it. Which I do appreciate. Also, I should have noted, a uh, kind of sort of destructible environment back there. Maybe there'll be more of that. <laughs> a jump button. <laughs> That's not the jump button. Press A to jump for diving, I guess. Interesting. I guess, like, that's to be more precise if you're at a ledge. They're like, ooh, would you like to dive into safety? Which I do appreciate. Landing in water, even from a great height, will prevent damage. Oh, that was cool! We jumped in from such a height, a lot of water droplets, like, cascaded back down. I like that detail. I like that. Hello, chest. All right, that's new. <laughs> Archaic legware. Oh, I didn't read it. I'll have to read it. Again, new UI. I kind of like it. Simple classic legware. They're well-worn and showing their age, but they've still got a few good years left in them. It can be a bit cumbersome to have to tie the straps. Is that the only chest, or did I miss a chest earlier? Probably not, since these are the, the pants. And plus, Link kind of looks, kind of pulls off the barbarian look. Well, we already see floating islands. Breath of the Wild 2. Whoa, 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 what is happening at Death Mountain? <laughs> what? Oh, I guess there is water down there, but and they did give me the tooltip, you'll survive from anything, but... Aha! Uh -huh. Why is there a big ball over there? I'm trying to look around, because there's like the Hebra Mountains, I think. Is that... Is something fucked up happening at Rito Village down there, I think? A bunch of floating islands again. There's destruction happening. Birds. Hmm. I don't see Hyrule Castle. Anywhere. We are very high up. We just, like, again, that's just the peak of Death Mountain, so, Jesus. Well, jumping! <laughs> Link, why would you do this? Epic music, though. Oh, a dragon! Uh, is it, what's his name? Feroz? Feroz? <laughs> this is just them showing off like, yeah. But still, Link, why would you do this? There's a weird, like, structure down there. The Legend of Zelda, Tears of the Kingdom. We're just gonna body flop. <laughs> Hold R to accelerate! Awesome! And giant lily pads. Is this where all the dragons come to hang out? The Sky Islands? Great Sky Island. Instead of, like, a great plateau, a great sky island. I'm kind of digging the aesthetic. And I was right, they were little light bulbs. Like, obviously the game wants me to go down there. I can't tell from this distance. Are you the one from Laneru? Could be the one from Laneru. Well, I guess I should probably go down the designated path and then I'll loop around and try. Tree branch, it's more powerful than the decayed master sword. 
<laughs> Wooden branches such as this are pretty common, but it's surprisingly well balanced and it doesn't do much damage, but it can serve as a weapon in a pinch. So stock up a bit. What the fuck is that? Is that are you also wielding a tree branch, Robo Boy, with a mohawk thing? <laughs> okay. Uh, sure, I take notice of you. I will, uh, fear you for a bit. It already kind of feels like there's a bit more music happening. Still some nature, but... Also notice that I haven't gotten any, like, weather calculation stuff just yet. Gonna wander a bit up here, because what are their secrets? We're actually so high up, we actually are crossing clouds. I am, uh, I am enjoying the light kind of accompanying music. What's this? Sky Shroom. A common mushroom that grows near trees on sky islands. Eat it to restore health. Or cook it, probably. I probably don't even have my... my air glider. Of course we don't. We couldn't open it. We just skydived straight into a lake, which totally should have killed Link, but he is a super badass who still got his ass kicked by wrinkly-ass Ganondorf. But I am enjoying the vibes. <laughs> Go ahead and climb down. Hopefully take not too much damage. A little disappointed that I can't, like... What's the word? Leap down. Wait, what's that? <laughs> I just noticed something in the UI. There is a quick select food thing. Okay, that'll be pretty good. Hilarious, because, like, <laughs> I'm the one that was just like, I want there to be a clothing one of those. <laughs> and just now notice there's a food one. And I know you're over there, Robo Monster, From Twitch chat. Hello, how are you liking Tears of the Kingdom so far? Very much Breath of the Wild sequel. I'm enjoying the... New feelings. The the very quick start. Well, okay, I guess. Let us approach. I have an apple. You could never beat me now. Ow. Don't. Well, apparently you're angry as much as anything else. Get out of here. Soldier Construct Horn. A blade-like horn from a soldier construct. It's very sharp, so handle with care. And then Zonai Charge. A material used as a power source for constructs and other devices. Its strange light seems to reveal potent energy inside. Interesting. Very interesting. I am enjoying the aesthetic of the Sky Islands. At least this Sky Island. Wooden Stick. The wood has evolved. <laughs> it has evolved. We now basically have a club. Why didn't the soldier construct pick this up? You have no idea. If you need any help tips, let me know. I have a thousand hours in this game. I can only imagine. This feels like the type of game where you could spend a thousand hours in it and still miss content. Because one thing I definitely want to do is ma take... Uh, Tears of the Kingdom a little, like, slower compared to what I did with Breath of the Wild. Talk to more people, try to do more quests. Still see that flying around dragon? Not sure if it's just going in circles or if, <laughs> if there's just multiple dragons I'm not seeing over there. Well, what are you? You know, you, you look like a construct, but I don't know. Broom. 
Are you gonna wake up and try to fight me? Oh, it has grabby hands. You look kind of Zonai-ish. Kind of wanting for eyes, though. Link, I have waited for you. What about that soldier construct? It was losing its mind. <laughs> Princess Zelda left something for you in my care. Oh, it's the... <laughs> it's the Picto Slate. This is the Pura Pad. I was close. I am told it is an invaluable tool that will provide you with direction. Well, thank you for holding on to it. <laughs> it's basically the Nintendo Switch. Hilarious. Purapad, Princess Zelda's prized device. It has a variety of features that are essential for adventure. Ah, open the features here. We already have images! We have a map! We don't need no towers where we're from and why are there question mark, question mark, question marks around. So the Great Sky Island. We have... Ooh, we have a person stamp, a diamond stamp. And I think one extra color. Neat. Very neat. All right, so it wants me to find Princess Zelda. This looks like it is a, I don't know, like a giant hammer fan thing. And why does that make it feel ominous? All right, interesting. I received it from Princess Zelda. I have now passed it on to you. My records indicate that Princess Zelda is waiting at the location marked on its map. My message has been delivered. Where am I? We stand in the Garden of Time. There was the Temple of Time, now it's the Garden of Time. In Age of Calamity, we had the Guardian of Time. Is is there another thing of time that I've been yet to be told about? And again, I must reiterate, really do like the design of this thing. It's nice. It, come to think of it, it's kind of, sort of... Oh, the Temple of Time. That's a glow-up. But yeah, I gotta say, like, uh, the Zonai, I assume, structure constructs kind of uh, feel like a cousin to the Sheikah, like, guardians. Kind of make it feel like a pottery and stuff. <laughs> this is making me want to replay Tears of the Kingdom. I can only imagine. And from YouTube chat, hi, hello, hello. We are beginning the game. The Temple of Time is visible from here. It was used in the distant past. Many rites and ceremonies of the kingdom were held there. You don't happen to have a, uh, what's it called, a uh, glider on you, do you? But no more. Now it is a lonely place. No one visits. Ah, another handprint. This is a half circle. I guess let's talk to you again. This is the Garden of Time. My records indicate that Princess Zelda is waiting at the location. Garden of Time? Yes, this is the Garden of Time. The structure visible to the north is the Temple of Time. It was used in the distant past. Yeah, same thing. Now it is the only place. Apologies. I cannot help but reminisce. Head to the indicated location. Take care as you do so. Well, thank you, Stuart Construct. <laughs> Jeez, I just realized how early in the game you are from YouTube chat. <laughs> Exactly. We're, we're just beginning. This is a neat bridge construct. I like that. They could have just had two big pieces of rock just meet in the middle, but they decided we're going to make it look kind of realistic as a like thing you would see. Zone I charged, so this is a destroyed like decayed steward construct. Oh, there's a... In the Fs. This feels like another... Oh! Pot? Now this is a Zelda game. It's not a Zelda game until the first pot is thrown. Hello, 
you seem to be new here. Be wary of soldier constructs as you travel this way. Soldier constructs? Soldier constructs are those of us given strict orders to protect this land. The Zonai who created us directed them to eliminate trespassers. They will consider you a trespasser too. You must treat them as a serious threat. Allow me to offer unsolicited advice. It is crucial to maintain a proper distance and target your opponents. Swinging haphazardly will not yield results. Thank you. I'll keep that in mind. You may practice targeting on me if you want. Oh, but please do not actually attack. I shall not do that because that would be mean. Also, how many weapon slots do we have? Gotta say, do like... There's a drop button! I like these quality of life things. These quality of life pieces just feel nice. And like, if I remember correctly, one thing I remember from Breath of the Wild is sparkles means that it is not, like, used. It is not, uh, it has not been used as a weapon just yet. Not been swung and hit and lost durability. How many of these pots will actually have things? These pots are so much more potty <laughs> than all the other pots. They actually hold things. Yep. Materials. Huh. They changed it because I think in... I like the change to the UI. The UI is just very nice. <laughs> From YouTube chat. I've already beaten it. Great game. I think you'll enjoy it. You will gain more weapon slots in the future. I'm more surprised that we actually have this many weapon slots. It feels like we had so much less at the beginning of Breath of the Wild. But I am liking the vibes. The vibes are very good. I become over here to mourn your friend. Got it. Just wanted to make sure he didn't have something else to say for talking, so hmm. we can go in deeper. Let's see, is there anything else that I might have missed around here? We're definitely not jumping off anywhere else. But I don't think that there was anything I might have missed. But also, I gotta say, really do enjoy that there is a jump prompt to initiate, like, oh, hey, safely dive in so you don't die. <laughs> Let's go. Hello, frogs. From the sky, I come for you. You cannot escape me. Unless you despawn, which you are wont to do. Ah, they do. Ah, I've been spotted. Oh. Uh, <laughs> I play too many games where that's the, like, proper thing. Oh. You are very slow spinning. What if I showed you real spin? Spin. I take your stick and beat you to death with it. <laughs> the skydiving is a very fun mechanic. Oh, now we have... Well, what feels like a slightly higher definition, like, uh, weather calculator, thermostat down there. This definitely feels like it leads to the cold area. So we shall not go there. We would probably die. Yeah, this is the edge. I saw stone and went to... I should probably try and sneak up on things. What the hell is that? It looks like a horse ostrich? What the fuck? Okay, sure, let's go. <laughs> Speed, I take it. I take a stick and spin you to death, exactly. Kind of like the fog gives atmosphere. It's very foggy, makes me think I'm gonna be jumped by the Yiga clan or something. Or that horse ostrich. Damn! You fucking bastard! I'm gonna. 
Oh, I can't just eat from here. Interesting. You can drop, though. Huh. Yeah, you better run away. And so I guess that dragon is... I don't have my bombs. That was m bombing the egg, the creatures was my best way of hunting. I'm not good at sneaking up. <laughs> those don't go near those birds. <laughs> the birds do seem like a bigger threat than the soldier constructs. They feel faster. Well, you know how this goes. That's the wrong way. I wanted to maneuver it onto him, and I failed completely. I failed to roll it. I missed the thing. I missed the roll ball onto enemy and kill them tutorial. I am a failure. I am now Sisyphus. Oh, you actually alert your friends. For some reason, I wasn't expecting that. You have a big stick. Ha, <laughs> you missed, you idiot! Okay, what if I just... I take your stick, and then you die. And I am going to upgrade my sticks. This is still a two, but it is also a bigger reach. Hmm. Interesting that there's a bit of a... When selecting a new thing, there's a bit of a delay of it going away compared to what, like, a Breath of the Wild felt like. That'll take a little bit of getting used to, but oh, not bad. I wonder if I can sneak up on the bird. Weird Karen hair. You're just a reskinned ostrich, you freak. You have the same animations. This creature is a threat. Even the stewards know. Hello there. Hello. Were you lured in by the delicious smells? I assume so. Ingredients are especially fragrant when roasted by a fire. They may also be tastier and more nutritious. I would not know. You're roasting them? Oh, you are unfamiliar to me. My apologies. Among my tasks is to explain anything that first-time visitors might require knowledge of. It's like they're NPCs. <laughs> but like, in-universe, designed to be that, Oh, I'm here to be helpful, give you information. You may have questions about this place. Please rest assured that a construct can answer them. I recall that your question was about roasting foods. I roast ingredients by placing them beside a fire. I do not eat, but I am given to understand that it improves the taste. Our creators roasted ingredients in order to enhance their nutritional value. Do you have ingredients? I invite you to use this fire to roast them. <laughs> New Toasty Sky Shroom! That's kind of cool. A whole new, well, new icon. Is that close enough? It's interesting that you can just, like, drop them. I just want to cook. Some sky shrooms. Luckily, they do a poof to let you know that they're done. I almost burnt myself on my food. Very interesting. 
Well, I guess I might as well go to the Temple of Time, which is much more grand compared to the one back on the plateau. And then probably from there we'll get more stuff to allow me to actually wander around the Great Sky Island. Or things will explode and I'll be sent tumbling down back to Hyrule. Maybe the dragon is like looking out for Zelda. Because they think they... Because I think it said... Let's see. Have to get used to like... Where's the... Adventure log. Oh, this is cool. I like this. Found yourself on a strange island in the sky after you awoke. A steward construct claimed that Princess Zelda gave it her pura pad. All it gave... All to give to you. The device's map shows a yellow dot in the light. The construct said that's where you'll find the princess. Although I guess, why would the princess... Oh, you have a... You bastard, you have a shield, you illegal fuck. I take the old shield. It is mine now. I throw stick at you, and I take your rusty blade. And now I go back uh, to using wooden stick. Now I have a sword. Still very interesting. I feel like I'm gonna feel very dumb trying to navigate the various places. Thinking three-dimensionally with Sky Islands is going to be freaky. Hmm. So there's the big thing. And this is similar because there was like a seven-dot thing around like the great like Zonai god thing that descended upon the Hylians, right? From the, what is it called? The mural. Oh, apparently it doesn't like me. Hey, voice, you gonna talk to me? That door will open only to those with sufficient power. What the... Hello, ghosty. I'm sorry. I did not intend to startle you. It was I that spoke to you earlier. That arm originally belonged to me. Well, that's kind of freaky. Hello. Oh, well, you're, you're actually wrong. a furry. Neat. Rauru, source of the right arm. You're who Ganondorf said, like, ooh, he placed his faith in you. Kind of freaky. For appearing to you in this manner. Unfortunately, I no longer have a physical form. I mean, yeah, you'll, the only thing left was your arm grasping at Ganondorf's titty. In any case, that arm should allow you to open this door. It seems to have lost the power to do so. Well, I was unconscious for uh, who God knows who knows how long. You might be able to restore it. But you would need to enter a place filled with sacred light. Sacred light, eh? Uh, of course. Why not visit the shrines on this island? It's always more shrines. Looks different, at least. The shrines. Yes, I'm sure they are the key. Really like your design. It's neat. Of course, it wouldn't be that easy. <laughs> From YouTube chat. He's not a furry. He is another species. A furry species. That's just how it goes. The closed door. When you tried to open the door to the Temple of Time, Rauru appeared and said he was the original owner of your new arm. He also said you need to revitalize the arm so the power of its touch will open the door. To do that, visit the island shrines. A green light spirals above each of them. Neat. That would make Rito and Zora furries. I guess technically the Zora would be more scalies, because, you know, fish scales, but... Technically, technically, still the true... Oh. Yeah. So I guess should... Ooh! <laughs> entirely new noise. All the way up there, so I'm going to assume... So I think that's the colder area. So there's at least two. Probably one's deeper in 
the fog that I might be missing. Let's see. Scout things out. Hmm, the light makes it hard to see. Ironically, usually light is like, ah, it shows things. Well, I guess we'll... I was so used to Breath of the Wild, I was like, oh, I'll just jump off, open my parasail glider. <laughs> if that was any taller, I would have taken damage. Nah. It's gonna take so long to get used to not having... My paraglider. Would go to the red marker first. Exactly. Because it is closer and probably not in danger. Why does that look like a little gay baby jail? Maybe Hestu is there, crying. Always grab materials. One thing I will say, I'm kind of disappointed I can't just eat food from that menu. I'm gonna try and sneak up on this boy. Take what? Oh, arrows. I guess you have a bow. I shall take it from your cold, dead hands. No one will find your corpse as I explode you into a million pieces! <laughs> Old wooden bow. Exactly, game. moment there I was like, ooh, dragon? No, it's just a long stone thing. Well, obviously this is part of that, like, ooh, construct your own stuff puzzle mechanic thing I just don't have access to. From the YouTube chat. What's good? I'm new here. Hello, hello. We are just beginning. Brr, not Breath of the Wild. Age, not even Age of Calamity. It's Tears of the Kingdom. What the? You explode upon death? Even. Why was there, like, big, like, gonging noises? That was kind of ominous sounding. Interesting. Huh. Rush rooms even grow up here. Might as well grab them. At least get the notification out of the way. I did make it. I was just about to say, I almost made it. I was going to presume on my own failing immediately upon try. Definitely not going to try jumping that. That would lead to death. Yeah, more wooden planks. Yay! Need to be more careful. Look, luckily it wasn't going to be a total death fall, but that's not going to be the, the same thing all the time. Huh, kind of neat. Kind of has a Zen Garden feel to it. Are you going to teleport me someplace? Or are you just going to... Oh, that was kind of the same thing. Yeah, teleporter. Teleporter block. Oh! You're a rock with a spirit door. Okay. No elevators this time. Tips and tricks. Ooh, new loading screen. I like it. Like the design. Couldn't read the tip. It went back too fast. Oh, Rauru, are you going to tell me all about the shrines from here on out instead oh. of the monks? Oh, I was expecting voice acting there for a bit. <laughs> so you've made it here. This is a shrine of light. Long ago, I filled these places with light that purges evil. I believe this light will restore an ability your right arm has lost. Mm -hmm. Technically, it's your right arm. You just, like, loaned it to me. Now then, extend your hand.
Oh, do I not even have to work for it? The classic music. Doesn't have the plink of, like, the Sheikah technology drop, but neat. Ultra Hand. You've heard of Ultra Kill? Now for Ultra Hand. And then we'll go to the Team and T universe and fight the Ultra Foot. Grab and move objects, rotate them, and stick them to other objects. Super Glue Hand. Mm. This is the Ultra Hand ability. It allows you to move objects freely and attach them to other objects. With it, you'll be able to build a great number of things. Really, anything you can imagine. Mm. Use Ultra Hand and receive the blessing from this shrine. Thanks, Rauru. We use. <laughs> if we don't have a Sheikah slate this time, we have hands. The ability to create. Oh, good God, we're going to have so many. This is kind of cool. Hmm. So for you, it's just... It's like Magnesis, but better. Neat. Okay. The weight to that is so good. Look down there, make sure... Ooh, the walls! The wall design looks like it has scales like that. Alright, so presumably I'll want to stick it on... Like so. Attach! It literally is super glue. Wait, oh, there's another one! I didn't even see. Very cool. Ooh, maybe I actually need that other one. Doesn't look like it, but we shall carry you anyway! This is very cool. I am liking it. That could fall on me and kill me. Can I climb it? I cannot climb it. So more than likely, the game would want me to stick all three together so I can... <laughs> Hell yeah. Love it. Amazing. I'm a this is amazing. I love this. Hello, chest. You look a bit freaky like you have a million eyes. They changed the amber. It looks like a... F <laughs> looks like a dildo. What were the... <laughs> Zorai doing up here? <laughs> Zonai doing up here? A fossilized resin with caramel-esque sheen to it. It's been valued as a component in decorations and crafting since ancient times. Can I take you? I can even stick you on if I wanted to. I almost crushed myself to death with the goddamn... Well, I would have deserved it for the comment I made. Alright, things are... I should probably take my... <laughs> materials with me! The weight, though. Hmm. So that's probably just showing us, hey, you can do that. And there's probably not actually stuff up there. But what if there is stuff? We do have a third one. Big thing is it fall to death? Huh, definitely fall to damage. If I wanted to, I could do what the game is trying to teach me, or I could take the other thing and make a big, 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 big. Still amazing that I <laughs> made it just stand up. Ultimate physics. But I'm interested. You're my emergency, hey. I just want to make a bridge. <gasps> One time, I restarted Breath of the Wild and forgot I didn't have a paraglider and died so many times, thinking that my controller broke. 
I probably would have remembered decently quick, but that is definitely relatable where you go like, why is paraglider not paragliding? I want to know. Is there anything actually up here? Probably not. There's nothing up here, but they gave me the tools to look anyway. Alright, so I do have my bridge of screw your puzzle. I wonder if I can actually make it. I can! But let's try and make it the way the game wants me to. So that we can learn to think outside the box. Ooh, does that mean that I can actually detach? Love it. That's cool. That's great. All right. All right. Now, my imagining for how this would properly work is... Place that there. Don't want to throw my stick. This is not Oonga Boonga time. This is man time of creativity. <laughs> Behold my bridge of screw your puzzle exactly. That's probably what's going to end up happening more often in this game than whoopsie daisy. <laughs> it's probably going to be whoopsie daisy I accidentally didn't do your puzzle rather than yay I did do your puzzle. But let's do their puzzle because they worked hard on it and they're trying to teach me things. I made a gondola. What's that? <laughs> the Zonai and the Hylian he scored. Probably by having a massive cock. I'm already loving. Oh. You have done well to reach this place. One nice. We offer this light that will cleanse you of evil. It's not my fault. You guys sucked at killing Ganondorf. Much more majestic and crazy than the, the monks. Oh, but it still forms an orb. At least this time I can grab it and just... This time it goes into my hand instead of my chest. Oh, I must have uh, evil acid reflux. Light of blessing. A crystal that glows with light that purges ancient evil and purifies with its radiance. Well, thank you, statue. May the light of blessing grant you the strength you seek. The fact that it's like musical oh, 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 is very interesting. I do kind of like that the loading screens show you where you are on the map. I don't know. That's kind of neat. I do kind of miss the... What's it called? The tapestry, but still cool. Ah, oh, you did well. Very well getting through that shrine. And you've restored an ability. This is wonderful. If you visit and complete two more shrines, you should be able to open the door to the Temple of Time. Hmm. You may want to mark the shrines in the distance with pins then you'll never lose track of where they are. The Purapad offers you a very useful scope. It's quite handy. Yep, I already discovered that, but do thank you. Oh, I think I see one up there. Did I mark that one? Mark that one. Ah! And it says two more, so I wonder if that means that there's only two more or if there could be more that are optional. Probably not. But I think that'd be neat. My brain just automatically goes to, man, I wish I could just fly over there. <laughs> you should try Echoes of Wisdom. Fun. I've heard very good things. 
So definitely someday, but I don't know when exactly. Kind of neat because we could build a bridge there. We can build a gondola through that. Just kind of glancing around. I'll probably go for the, like... Just making sure there's nothing else over here. We shall probably just take the quickest path, which will be making a bridge. Like, are those pick-upable plants, or are they just normal, normal plants? Well, first things first, we make bridge. Why is there a small one? That's my question. Are you just like an extender? Well, then let's get you extended! You are my extender bridge. I wonder if materials that I can use to build can break. Rhetorical question. So that if it does happen, it'll be hee hee ha ha funny times. I could probably just whack myself with this thing. Almost, if we use the last one. Oh. We should be able to make it. Oh, my creation of glory! No! Yeah. Oh, I think it did break. <laughs> Neat. I confirmed my wanderings. I was being dumb. Well, since I'm down here anyway, might as well climb up here. What's making noise? <laughs> I was just moving, I heard noise, gong, gong, gong. Let's see, collectible? Nope, just normal. You. What's you doing up here? Huh? You're not here, Stu. But, you see me? I didn't know someone like you could see the children of the forest. Guess I didn't find all the Koroks back in the Breath of the Wild days. <laughs> well, if you see has to, please return this to him. It has happened again. <laughs> well, my friends are hiding in lots of different places too, so you should keep an eye out while you wander. Also, this is a destroyed pipe. Freaky technology. Huh? And yep, I'm a PNG tuba, and I have many, many, many expressions. Either, the, like for me, either it's really, really easy to make a PNG tuba avatar, or my brain just huh? goes blank. Makes it very, very hard for me. Wait, can I just... I can just yoink materials! Magnesis, but better. This is great. This is amazing. But luckily... We have one more piece to... Extend. Which should then make it able to reach. I lost the rest of the bridge because I was an idiot and I was like, oh, I just want to be lazy and get over there and then it fell and broke. So we could have made a gondola but that meant going back over there. Oh, Rauru, what you doing down there, mate? I still miss my runes. Does this mean I won't be able to just spam bombs at enemies anymore? Oh, are you going to teach me how to build a raft? Hey there, Rauru. Oh. 
I see that they're still at work even now. We originally created the constructs to assist in our endeavors. All of us were fond of them. I never imagined they would continue to carry out their task, assigned tasks to this day. Mm. The fact that their labor no longer serves any purpose, yet they perform it still, it is disquieting to me. I can only imagine. Ah, wasn't mean to grab you. It was a pill for the dead. <laughs> From you to chat? Did you just start Tears of the Kingdom? Yep, just starting right now. Hmm. If only... So, if we wanted, we could build a raft. Not sure why we would need a raft. This looks like a teleporter. Hmm. Hello there, steward. Fix your gaze forward. Face it head on. Hmm, pardon me. I was absorbed in woodcutting. Are you here for woodcutting too? Woodcutting? Woodcutting is in the practice of chopping down trees to create logs. Logs can be combined to assemble platforms. You can also chop them down further to make wood. Lumber has many uses. That is why I come here daily to chop wood. And yet I still find it difficult to chop them down in the intended direction. That is why you may have heard me muttering to myself, fix your gaze forward, face it head on. Ah, I apologize. I have been rambling for some time. There is no axe I no longer need. Oh, there is an axe I no longer need over there. It is yours to use if you want to do some wood cutting. I do like the, like, parallels to... Ba ba ba. Or we're definitely gonna build a wooden tree bridge over there. Like the parallels to the King Rome. That tree fell so, so hard. So fast, so furious. Okay, we need to move you. Although, can I... I, I, I... I need to see, quickly, what happens. Ah, I want to wield a super thing. We're gonna make a big old rolly bridge. And then we're gonna go over there. I wonder if I could end his disquietment if I destroy the tree for it. Magnesis on steroids? Exactly. It's so good. Why is it glowy? I wonder why it is glowy. Oh, leaf. Korok frond. A mysterious leaf that looks like it might be hiding something behind it. It has some medicinal value. Attach it to a stick and it can be used as a fan. Huh. Sorry for almost hitting you. Ah, uh, your skill at woodcutting is impressive. It was nothing. Such modesty. Your technique is impressive enough that I would appreciate your assistance. That is, assuming you have the time to spare. <laughs> Oh, sorry, I didn't mean to uh, almost smack you with a tree. And you know what? I'm gonna crew me some axes. I'm gonna make the biggest tree bridge and see what the hell happens when I try to make it into a bridge. It's probably not gonna work, but I wanna... I need to select, like, a closer one. Oh, I thought that was gonna crush me. Now let's see what happens. Tree bridge. It's a little rolly. But it is a tree bridge. If I was smarter, I would have tried to make it two logs wide. Oh, but that's just, uh, 
inefficient due to safety. I think the wind is actually moving it, so... Extra disquieting. It is kind of sad to see, like, the broken down ones and then the working ones. More amber. I throw pot. There's nothing in it. I throw pot. There's nothing in it. I invaded this ruin and I got nothing for it. I feel robbed. What the fuck is that? And what are you? I can't get to you. Because I took my tree bridge to get over here. Tree bridge. Oh, there's a down there place. Hmm. Now we shall dangerously cross my OSHA non-compliant tree bridge. Gotta go carefully or else we might die. Yeah. I'm gonna open up this... Two arrows worth. You got anything to say now that I... Saved him from eternal smacking. Oh. Nope. Hmm. But he's no longer smacking. I saved him from his hell. Hmm. Lots of destroyed ones out there, ain't there? Oh, time to grab you, because Tree Bridge is being reused. That's Tree Bridge 2. Rockabye Baby Boogaloo. One hundred percent of links that have used my Tree Bridge have survived. I completely forgot exactly. <laughs> like for a moment. Completely forgot what my ultimate goal was. I guess we can't grab, like, living things. Makes sense. What about attaching another one tree stump to another at the end of the bridge uh, to lower into the stabilize? Maybe. But so long as it works, it works. Meanwhile, this is, like, an actual bridge. made my tree bridge. I didn't even need it. Another steward. Might as well come over here. Then we're gonna go there, because that's probably a Korok. Let's be honest. Probably a Korok. Ah, you going hunting to kill those bastards? Shh, quiet. I am engaging in hunting. Yes, I hunt wild creatures that inhabit this forest. Hmm, I do not remember seeing you here before. We constructs fulfill several roles. One is to provide any necessary explanations to newcomers such as yourself. Other constructs you meet will be able to answer questions you may have about other subjects. My specialty is hunting. To hunt is to dispatch wild creatures. None, many of them dwell within this forest. They are highly nutritious to organic life. They are also extremely wary. Probably because you've been killing them for years, centuries, millennia. A hunter must not make noise. Crouching is essential for silence. A bow can be used to strike from afar. Aiming for weak spots is best. I will give you the bow placed over there. Use it as you please. Thank you. I'm glad to not have just stolen it from you. Problem is, I don't know, like, the trajectory. Damn it. So now they're very wary. I must kill them in the on- Hello, Raru.
Well, well, I guess they probably disappeared. I failed to murder. I am the ultimate failure of hunting. Also, it is very foggy. But I am great at hunting sky shrooms. Every single one that I've seen has come back with me. But still. Ultra hand is best hand. What you gotta say, Rauru? I love this view of the Temple of Time. I always took a moment to appreciate it whenever I passed by here. The Garden of Time was quiet. The only sound to be heard was the time bell, ringing in mornings and evenings. Ah, that's what it is. It was as if the whole place changed at its chime, especially at night, when the sound signaled the emergence of fireflies. Mm. Those were glorious times. Well, they're just running around. You're supposed to be a mighty hunter. Unlike me, a mighty failure. I love that I can just pick them off the wall now. I'm gonna be having so many rush rooms. Oh, this is the cooking one. Give me your meat. Meat, meat, raw meat. My next batch will also be tasty. Pardon me for not noticing you. I was absorbed in preparing my next meal. Hmm. I do not recall having seen you before today. I must doubly apologize for my attentiveness. It is the duty of a construct to field any questions that those such as yourself may have. It may pose these questions to any construct. We will answer them as best we can. What is cooking? Ah, uh, you seem to be uneducated when it comes to cooking. Mostly cuz. Talking. More talking from you. Neat little guys. Very well. You will learn how to create a meal on your own. Educate me! Cooking step one. Hold the ingredients in your arms. Step two. Throw them into a pot over a lit fire. Cooking complete. That is the simple version. The world of cooking can be as complex as you want. There are many possible dishes. What you make and what effect you gain depends on the ingredients used. Some meals are warming, others may replenish stamina. Tiny organisms known as critters and monster parts are not food. Save them as the base for elixirs. This information was provided by our creators, but I cannot eat, so I take it with a grain of salt. Food joke. I will remain stationed here. Ask me any time you have questions about cooking. Very neat. What the... What do you mean, select for recipe? Select for recipe? Ooh! So if you create a specific thing, you can just make immediately? Great. This is amazing. This is the greatest thing ever. Absolute fantabulous. I wonder if this is technically considered a... It's a material, but not all materials are food, so... Oh, it even has, like, a list of the things. Cool. The UI is so good. Fruit and mushroom mix. What if I just collected nothing but mushrooms? Mushroom time! Mushroom skewer. That's cool. I like that. That you can just select. And they're numbered. That's kind of cool. That's actually kind of neat. I am loving the UI and changes so far. I just realized I probably shouldn't be doing that, mostly because I probably don't need a five-heart thing. We 
Go. I like that there's so much wandering around that can be done. I don't know, this place feels more magical than the Great Plateau did. No offense to King Rome and the Plateau, but this place is just neat. Okay, because I want to get back down to that <laughs> lake because there's a most definitely a Korok spot. <laughs> You will give me your meat, you horrid dinosaur! <laughs> I guess the chime is saying, hey, it's nighttime now. I missed the lily pad like a fool. Alright, come out and play, Korok. And now. Tradition. It is tradition to wallop a Korok over the head with the rock they were hiding under. Try to put them back where they came from. Okay, now let's see, because uh, we were heading this way. Darn, I missed. I really like the vibes of this place. They're just really nice. Oh, what's this? Stam bulb. A wall plant with bulging roots often found in a cooler climates. Contains nutrients that increase endurance. Cook it to restore stamina. And here I thought the cooler climate thing might imply something, but apparently not. I already have you marked, just want to make sure. Hmm, so a whole outpost of these dudes. I'm gonna sneak up on them. Headshot you, I wonder. Can. Can indeed. <laughs> Restless cricket, you are mine. More stam bulbs. Oh, I get it. Stamina bulbs. Oh, you took a lot of... I guess it makes sense. These guys are... Like actual fighters. Why'd that go big boom? I take your shield for my own. Goodbye. I'm digging. I'm digging this. Vibes are very nice. Ooh, opal. For some reason, I'm really liking this, like, introduction compared to uh, Breath of the Wild just a little bit more. There's just something about it. It has very nice vibes. Hmm. Gonna guess that there's gonna be like a which the word. Well, what the hell are you? <laughs> Need to reach my friend. Well, I'm, I can only guess that. Well, hmm. so more than likely it has to be over there that your friend is. 
if you want me to send you on your way. Oh, it's a Korok with a big ass bag. This is awful. Where's my friend, huh? You can see me? I'm a Korok, one of the children of the forest. I was traveling with my friend, and we got separated. I was down there by camp. My friend is sending up a smoke signal. I can't wait to catch up. Yeah. I'm so tired, though. I can't move. If I wanted to be mean, I would send you down to the depths. <laughs> eh? Acorns. So let's try to make a very thick raft for you. And we'll both travel down. We will send you on your way. And we will save the day. is like kind of interesting that they're changing up how the Koroks like uh, kind of do things now they're out doing adventures as well hmm. I wonder can I attach oh, I don't want to throw it <laughs> I, my, my apologies oh I can attach you so that you don't fall off that's good. Let me guess. I... Yeah, I can't lift it while I'm on it. Hmm. Uh, probably because it is kind of on the ground. Now let's make our way down. Small Korok child. From YouTube chat. I like your channel, I see. I think you're super underrated. Thank you! Definitely try to make things entertaining. Still do need to go out and make my edited content on my main channel a bit more. Reunited at last! Thanks! I'd like to give you something, but here's all I have. Two Korok seeds. Yeah. Bye! And you're still in your oversized backpack. That's kind of funny. That's kind of neat. Different way of getting Korok stuff. I quite like that. I find that very neat. They're like, hey, how do we... Like, that's actually really, really clever. Because the main very cool thing about, like, Breath of the Wild was to get upgrades... Like, they encouraged you to go and uh, explore, finding Koroks, finding shrines. So in this case, it's the same thing. Instead, it's just like, oh, you use the, like, creation powers to get the, like, uh, Koroks to a new location. I like that. Encouraging the new main mechanic with rewards. That's very nice. From Twitch chat, moved on from Breath of the Wild, huh? Yep, I beat Breath of the Wild and then beat Age of Calamity. And now I'm moving on to this new game. Hmm. Well, I do think that we'll need... Yeah, I'm placing this on just to carry with us. Because I do think that we'll want these materials to cross the lake. <laughs> this will probably unbalance the raft thing. Let's see. Yeah, definitely unbalanced. So first things first, we'll take all. And instead, we will... make it so that it is indeed 
balanced instead. Oh, it's probably because of you. Close. Oop. And now we make our way down. Slowly. <laughs> Better than utterly crashing and burning. Unless it does, like, become destabilized. Which it did not. Did kind of break on the impact, but resources. <laughs> Excuse me, big old tree. Just want to place this down so we can use it for later. Because there's that, all that. You'll never see me coming. He didn't see a single thing. It's like he murdered his friend. No mercy for you. You will die. Suffer! Thick stick! A thick bat cut from a large tree. It's not the sturdiest weapon, but it's heavy and does have a bit of more power behind it. Neat! Hmm. Oh, another stone axe. Goodbye, long stick. Twitch chat, so what do you think of the replacement for Magnesis so far? Like, pure upgrade. Super, super good. I can use it to grab, like, materials. It's just like, it seems very, very nice. And it seems, like, masterful to be used for, like, the puzzles and stuff this game is going to be going for. I think it's really cool. Because the, the Korok stick, like, or the big leap thing said I could make a Korok-like thing. A Korok leap, like, adjacent thing. Well, that's not what I wanted at all. I do like that there is, like, a lot of, you're able to really micromanage where things go. I do enjoy that. Yep. But yeah, this is super cool. Not sure how much I'm going to use it, but it is super cool. Yeah, especially because we're not restricted by just metal. Anything that is a, a two-handed stone axe. Neat. I'm going to beat you to death. Oh, you're actually quite sturdy. You hit me? You stupid slime. Go back to drag. What is it? A dragon quest? I think it's dragon quest. Ah, stones. Won't those have any use for construction? Okay. Now I need a stick. Well, first things first, maybe I should try and grab some fear. Ancient Orawana. A lively fish that hasn't changed much since ancient times. Nutritious meat can be used to restore health. And now I have two. <laughs> and now I'm underneath the pad. Death. Okay, now let's try and... Cut down this here tree to get a stick. I'll take a Korok frond. I want a stick more than anything. <laughs> I'll take a Korok frond. Well, then again, I don't think I can. Can I? Hmm. Because it did say, like, add to a stick to do it. Like a tree branch. So maybe if I come here... Like, probably not. I can eat it. Why can't I eat it? I guess it does say it has medicinal value. 
Nope. Doesn't seem to be. So more than likely... Hmm. Let me read again. It has some medicine. Attach it to a stick and it can be used as a fan. Maybe I need to pick up the... Let's see. Drop you. Attach to a stick. Pick up stick. Cannot. I have been lied to. So that's probably a power later on. So my plan of trying to get a boat to go there. But then again, the wind is kind of pushing that way. So it'll go that way faster on its own. <laughs> you mean the gusty leaf from Breath of the Wild? Yes. I think it actually is called a Korok leaf, but meh. <laughs> Right, wind, push me along. Kind of interesting that you have to construct like the Korok leaf in this world. Yeah, literally I did have to do this though because it doesn't seem like there's any solid land to get there. I do like this. This is very creative. This is very cool. Meanwhile, I'm just Barbarian Link. Booga booga. And I could probably deconstruct this thing as I go. I can't move it, but I could probably shake things off. Which would be hilarious. There's a group of links on a raft. One gets an invasive thought, shakes the mast off. No! Why so many logs? Because it's better to have more and not need them than need them and not have them. I can be like Blackbeard from One Piece. I'm just a giant raft is my ship. Very cool. And I think kind of elevates the raft thing. Like, while they still would have to place, like, the masts around, unless there's a way to actually create a mast <laughs> on your own. Like, being able to create a raft feels a lot more engaging than just like, oh, a raft, and then just use it. Especially when usually you just can find a different way across. A lot of chews up here. This implies that choo-choos are... A very rare be- or not a rare being, but a very ancient being. My stick is bigger than your stick. And now I replace my stick with your stick. Such is the way of life. Big stick goes to the victor. Hmm, since there's like these small rocks, and the game does say like, oh hey, attach thing to thing. I would assume maybe I could attach those to sticks and make my own axe. That'd be neat. I'm gonna get a bomb! I'm gonna get a bomb. Just looking over there. Bomb! <laughs> Definitely. My least favorite thing about this game is no more uh, wind bombind. Not sure if it's a mistype on the bombind. Really, the wind messing with my bombings was kind of a bothersome thing, but we'll have to see what this game has to offer for me. See how it goes. Still like that this is like the same kind of construct to it being a like Sheikah Shrine, but it's so different as well. I like it. We know about the scope. It's also load pretty good. How much do you actually know? Not that much, actually. I know Ganondorf is gonna get moisturized, get his meat back. Oh. Uh, I I know that Cass and Ravali just don't exist in this game. <laughs> just a, a, a immense pain. All the pain. Everything is pain. There is no mercy for me. But, yeah, I don't know that much. Again, in a smash. 
He does not match to the meat of Cass, but from what I've seen, yep, definitely. Definitely a big daddy. So you've made it here. Now then, extend your right hand. Give me more power. What is it that I can do? I can turn my arm into a sword! Obviously not, but that would be amusing. Fuse! Attach something to an equipped weapon or shield to enhance it. You can undo the fusion, but that will destroy whatever has been attached. That's kind of neat. That's cool. Hmm. This is the fuse ability. It allows you to fuse something nearby to your weapon or shield, thereby enhancing it. Why not pick up that sword just ahead and then fuse a nearby object to it? Mm. Then fuse and receive the blessing from this shrine. It's probably going to be a combat shrine, too. <laughs> from Twitch chat, I'm surprised that I, I managed to miss out on all the spoilers. This game has been out for a year or something. To be fair, I am decent at missing spoilers on some things. Like, I managed to avoid, like, 90% of the spoilers for Pokemon Super Mystery Dungeon. So I'd say I'm pretty decent at missing that. Hmm. Guess I'll throw this stick. Pick up sword, Rusty Claymore. I can put that on my shield? All right, let's do Y. Can I do more? Uh, only once, still. And let me, does that mean I can smash? Gotta be honest, I think I might like this better than bombs. From YouTube chat. Wow, you avoided spoilers for that long. Respect. That's kind of why I always advocate for trying not to, like, super spoiler things too often. Because there's always the possibility that there's somebody that has avoided spoilers for stuff. What are these? Fire fruit! Ah, raise. Wait. Wait, 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 wait. I thought it was like, oh, there's a whole... fuse! Fuse attack power. Ooh, that's a new stat. A fruit that generates heat when struck. Cooked correctly, its heating properties improve blood flow and simulate muscles to raise attack power in high temperatures. Huh. Okay, that's new. That's unique. Very interesting. Ancient attach materials to arrows. And then I can come in here, maybe. <laughs> That's not what I wanted. But I, I shoot anyway. I sinned. <laughs> so that's what this is for. I thought it was a quick eating thing. I can just make fire arrows. I can become a god. Did it destroy my mushroom? No. <laughs> it just... <laughs> My Sky Shroom arrow survived. It's great. But on the topic of spoilers, like, of course, some things will always be spoiled. Or, like, super easy to spoil. But I try not to be like, oh, super spoiler for things like... Unless it's, like, in context. Like, talking about spoilers for Age of Calamity and Breath of the Wild in this context probably wouldn't be that terrible. But, like... And, like, maybe some of the bigger, like, everybody knows ones, like some Star Wars spoilers, because they're just, like, super known. But when it comes to, like, most games, I wouldn't go throwing out late game spoilers, just because some people might have been able to uh, make it back, make it through. <laughs> a key to a door inside a shrine of light. But I am really liking the fuse idea, because... You can, like, go in here and be like, ooh. Amber increases attack by four. I cannot attach <laughs> animals. Zone I charge. Soldier Construct Horn. Ooh. 
So if you want to go super dupe. I am curious. Can I attach a rock? Okay, not to a thing, but I could just smack you. I was going to be like, oh, I can shoot an arrow boulder at you. That'd be hilarious. <laughs> From you, Chep, I hate people who spoil games for me. It depends on, like, the context, because if it's like, oh, I walked into it, and they were trying to be like, oh, spoilers for this thing, maybe. But people just throwing spoilers out can be annoying. From Twitch chat? <laughs> Did you get spoiled? That link is mail. Like, I think that was also a thing thrown in my YouTube chat. I guess that's a meme. I don't know. I don't get it. Seems oddly weird. I do like the additions to these doors, where they actually have, like, interconnecting locks to make it feel more door-like. Yeah, I am really liking the vibes. I'm gonna have to fight something in here. Knew it. Oh, you're gonna yeet shit at me! Oh, I thought you were gonna yeet shit at me. I like the combat music. Oh. Ah! Good thing I cooked. It smacked. Let's see. You know what? I'll just... I'll burn you on fire. Ah! But honestly, oh! Shooting you seems better than actually hitting you. Construct bow, much better. Let's see. From YouTube chat, all memories are in lineal order with storyline. You'll have to follow correctly. If you get a latest part of the story, it will be out of context. Yeah, be careful of memory order. Interesting. I will definitely try to be aware of that. I really like the the hammer sword stuff. This is neat. This is very cool. I wonder if this means that the elemental arrows are just gone because you're meant to con like literally make them yourself. That could be a thing. We could add spike. Interesting. I wonder. Very interesting. <laughs> and from YouTube chat, do you like Undertale? I do. I streamed it on this uh, channel not too long ago. All things considered. It was like... A decent bit ago. Not terribly, terribly long. Played through the entire game. Did not do a genocide route. Because that just didn't really interest me. Hmm. Come to think of it. Should probably, maybe... I could be fusing everything. I can be fusing everything. What the hell am I doing? I can be fusing everything! Like this wooden stick? Make it into a rock! Well, I probably don't, wouldn't want to do it to the axes. I would actually like to use them for big smacking. <laughs> I turn everything into hammers. <laughs> well, this is fun. This is very fun. From Twitch chat. Yep, many praise this power after all the feedback they got <laughs> over Breath of Wild's durability system. Which is funny because the durability system didn't bother me all that much. It kind of made sense for, like, uh, Breath of the Wild. I can understand some frustration with it as, like, a personal taste kind of thing, but objectively, I feel like it was fine. 
<laughs> from YouTube chat. I missed the Undertale stream. No! The one downside of it being like nine years old, dear God. We must purge the evil of this arm. Even though most of the evil probably came from Rauru having it stuck on there for like a billion years, stuck on the corpse. The musicalness of the accepting of the light things is just super cool here. Yeah, so far, this is really, really good. The vibes, man. From YouTube chat, by the way, do genocide take uh, patience, but very relaxing. Like, maybe. It's just mostly that... Like, I've, like, genocide has been spoiled for me. I basically know everything about it, so the shock factor isn't there. And so it's basically just, like, a few boss fights. It's like, it's the kind of thing that if I was bigger as a streamer when I did Undertale, I probably would have done genocide, because I probably would have had a more active chat to chat with. Whereas back then, I didn't really have an active chat. <laughs> Link. Oh, Stuart, which one are you? I came because there is something I failed to give you. What's that? Please take it. What is that? Injectables? Energy cell. A gift from a Zonai construct designed to be worn on a belt. It can give power to Zonai devices. Interesting. What I have just given you is an energy cell. It is required to make use of the tools known as Zonai devices. I cannot demonstrate its utility because there are no Zonai devices right here. However, I have associates on the other side of that cave system. They can teach you how to use this. I hope that the energy cell I provided is useful to you. That's probably... Considering the, like, spots, that's probably upgradable. I love that I can just smack now. I love that it's smackable. I don't need bombs. I'm gonna miss the bombs, but it's good. <laughs> don't worry, they're triple A. <laughs> this is getting cool. <laughs> From YouTube chat, I'm obsessed with Undertale. Undertale is really good. I know some, like, Undertale fans kind of ruined it for some people. Like, in some ways, I'm kind of happy that I didn't, like... Well, funnily enough, I probably wouldn't have been all that targeted by the super fans of Undertale. They're like, no, you have to play it's a, like, a specifically a pacifist for the first time. Mostly because I was slightly spoiled for, like, uh, bits of Undertale. But it's not a fun time with it. But I do kind of... Uh, feel sorry for the people that went in totally blind. And so the fans were like, No, you're playing it wrong. Even though that's kind of meant to be like a discovery. Oh, man. Have your rock back. I'm still in the mode of like, ooh, I should jump off and use my hang glider. That would kill me. I would die. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Just probably just slide down. But I am enjoying the vibes of this game so far. I do kind of like that the tutorial is lasting so long, mostly because the stuff is kind of, like, more advanced. So, more than likely, they, like, had more to really teach the player. You missed a choo-choo. How can you miss a choo-choo? It's a choo-choo! From YouTube chat, hello! Hello, hello. Well, technically, flu. But 
We are playing Tears of the Kingdom. Almost missed a zone I charge. That would be very mean. Can I fuse things? I want to know. I can attach things to the Decayed Master Sword. That's kind of interesting. Let's see. Oh, I thought there would be, like, I don't know. Probably shouldn't have assumed that there would be a Korok up here. That'd be weird after immediately. More stamina. How does it feel to see your friend obliterated before your very mind, Akisami? You have a big... <laughs> Why do you have, like, a Madara fan? <laughs> I know it's just like a fused stick, but that's hilarious. And then it caught on fire. <laughs> that's hilarious. Yep, let's grab this. Soldier Reaper. A tree branch with an add... <gasps> they just add the ability to swap out immediately? That's kind of cool. That's kind of cool. I like that. From Twitch chat. Every time I swap to a new switch, I lose all my progress. I've lost, like, what seems to be like a million rupees. All nine, 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 nine. That would be frustrating. I'm still on my first switch that I got like day one. My switch has managed to survive a long time. Granted, I haven't been really taking it out of the dock all that much, so maybe it hasn't been banged up as much. Discovery, Pondside Cave. What are these? A seed that's often found in caves or wells. When struck, it will take root and bloom, giving off a faint light from a small flower. I wonder if I could attach that to an arrow and, like, launch it at a wall. Well, I don't want to use that. That's my super weapon. Get out of here, Keese. Take advantage of their glaring awareness and attach one to an arrow to gain a homing quality. Ooh, that's very cool. Uh, thrown weapons to fly farther with this item attached. Sniper. Ooh. I wonder, what about this? Hmm, it doesn't seem... I guess fuse for attack power is Amber's purpose. What the fuck are you? <laughs> the blue piece have gotten scary. And a strange crystal left behind by a defeated booble frog in caves. Its eerie glow may entice you to collect even more. What right, the fuck do you even mean? It's just... It's just, it's just weird. From uh, YouTube chat, I'm new to the Zelda fandom. Is this game canonically before or after Breath of the Wild? After. Unless some weird as hell twist happens later on, it should be after. Giant bright bloom seed. See, that's found underground. When struck, it'll take root and bloom, rain large amounts from a big flower. Very interesting. A lot of new items. Got flint. I do like that they added the ability to just make your own hammers to destroy blow upable constructs instead of like having to like throw a bomb at them. 
would be funny if you could, like, rubies contain the power of fire. And so I wonder if that means you can put them on a weapon and cause fire. That would be interesting. <laughs> also, my sticks are lasting a long time, it feels like. It's kind of nice. Maybe only tree branches die really fast in this game. I wouldn't mind that. Archaic tunic! I finally found you. Old-fashioned upper body wear. It's got some holes, but a soft cloth feels good to the touch. It's hard to keep Rico free. Now we are in Rome. Oh, I thought that was going to be a plant. It's a twig. I have been catfished by a twig. Just pick up everything. And how are you, Rauru? Mm. The steward constructs were the first to be built. After that, we crafted others suited to different roles. Culinary constructs, maker constructs. You'll find all sorts of them still active in this place. Some became so skilled within their specialties that they surpassed us. We began to learn from them instead. Hmm. You should take time out to talk to them. They can teach you many things you might not yet know. There's a decent amount of them here. The wraps are broken. We are exhausted from trying to fix them. Currently, we are resting from this task. At least the Zonai device is undamaged. The Zonai device? Yes, they are special tools that we employ. It's a special thing that'll help us later. They are necessities here. I recommend that you learn how to use them. Ask the construct in front of the fan for details. I will return to my rest. <laughs> We must bother all their rest. The rafts are damaged. We are unsure how to proceed. We will reconsider the problem at dawn after resting. Need that they actually sleep at night. The rafts for crossing the r to the other side are broken. Transportation is on hold indefinitely. This is ordinarily where we send resources across the river. The only silver lining is that the Zonai devices are undamaged. Ah, it seems you do not know of Zonai devices. They are necessities around here, allow me to explain. This green thing is called a Zonai device. The one you see here is a fan. You can produce wind on demand by striking it. They are self-evidently useful. We have a variety of Zonai devices for multitudinous purposes. Using Zonai devices requires energy. An external energy cell will be necessary in your case. Ah, you have one already. That is a relief. But perhaps a refresher or explanation is in order. The energy cell stores the energy required to use Zonai devices. Its energy will replenish automatically while Zonai devices are not in use. Its capacity is not unlimited. Use the energy contained within wisely. Otherwise, you may run out at inopportune moments. Pardon the long explanation. It does not change our need for a la raft. Zonai devices are extremely useful. Think creatively, and you will find many ways to employ them. It's like they went, like, absolutely mad with, like, yes, let people go and do their own crazy things. Oh, that's... I will have to get used to the change. Because I keep trying to, like, change my quote-unquote rune. Yeah, this is definitely a, like, tutorial on... Well, you don't mean to touch it. Ah, uh, we may have need of these parts. There are more materials near the water available for your use. It is very difficult to rest peacefully when things like this happen. Well, fine. I won't help fix your raft. And 
they sent it to the other side, they said. But I want to explore this way, because there's freaky things over here. It's like... Hmm. These are basically just... Ah, that's why it's too low. My bad. There we go. Make it kind of flush. Hmm. It's strange that there's... you how could I fine I shall use you instead and then really if they're close enough I should be able to like move them around and make it Oh, very good. <laughs> it's interesting that I can, like, put things out of my reach. I'm here to kill you. Oh, you're just attaching a thing to your thing. I thought you were doing something crazy. Thought it was gonna go absolutely mad. Might as well move you over. Ah. Wonder, can I actually climb you? I can! <laughs> Magnificent! I could just infinitely fly with two of these. It would take forever, but it would be possible. Get on one, move the other. Get on the other, move the one. But very, very cool. Come over here and grab you have the stamina bulb. There's another stamina bulb. All the stamina bulbs. I'll probably forget to actually make them into things. That'll be nice. That's such a, like the fact that they just took Magnesis and made it a million times better. It's so cool. It's just so, so cool. The things that they have done is impressive. It's just so, so cool. Hmm. I wonder if the amount of Zonai devices will, like, affect my wrath. If I'm gonna have two, I should probably put them on either one so it doesn't, like, get twisted up. Oh, but now you're at a... Oh, that's cool. You can kind of set them at an angle. That's cool. There you go. All right. Boat is activated. Or do I not have access to it? Oh, I have to hit him. There, that's why. It's cool. This is very...
very, very cool. Because, like, I knew that there was some, like, uh, ooh, like, fan-created energy things. But I didn't know, like, the specifics, so this is really, really cool. What you doing? Oh, are you going in this direction? This mountain path is especially rugged. You must take your environment into account when traveling. I developed guidelines for traveling this mountain path. Shall I tell them? Please. Very well. Fire is a crucial tool when traveling the mountain path. A fire can be used either to cook or to warm yourself. I recommend using flint as a fire starter. Place flint next to a bundle of firewood. Then strike it with a metallic or stony weapon. This is my recipe for fire. There are several other methods, but it is the best to internalize the basics first. Teach me to cook. Yeah, cooking time. All you need is a pot and a fire. One method of cooking is simply to throw random ingredients into the pot. Others are more careful. This is the best way to make meals that can warm you up. Other effects are also possible. Insects and monster parts are not edible. Do not cook horns or guts with food. Say these parts are m as materials for elixirs. Elixirs are also helpful in the mountains. They are an alternate way to warm your body or recover stamina. The first step in all cases is to start a fire. That is all I can tell you. Take care. Let's see. Smash everything. So going up the mountain is... It's gonna get cold. Oh, hey. Rusty broadsword. Hmm. Because I wonder if... Well, hello, you freak. Alright, choo-choo's are kind of scary. I just had to. There was a smash thing. Hello, Korok. Don't fall to your death. Luckily, they kind of seem to make it decently easy to climb out again. That's nice. Just cause fire. Cause hmm. Race and attack pyre and hmm. Cause I don't think I have anything that would Apparently this can be used to recharge something? That's neat, did not know. Strong speed boost. But it does feel like the Great Sky Island is very, like, big and interesting. Hmm. I wonder. I have a, a thought. Well, let's, uh... Because... Doesn't seem like I can add that to my wooden wep- or my metal weapon and make it, like, anti- No, you shall not, like, uh, make me- What's the word I'm looking for? You can fucking drown your- your jelly! I guess you got diluted to death, kind of freaky, but did not expect that. It's like a similar gondola. Not exactly, exactly. Ooh. All right, so there's the big, big, scary guy, and it's the little minions. Oh, 
Okay, so they can yeet barrels. <laughs> Stop fusing! Hey, you! Stop all the fusing! I should probably be a bit more careful. I can just eat raw food. Probably should have cooked at the pot. I'm an idiot. But this so far is really, really good. From YouTube chat, also just to let you know, the stamina wheel is nerfed in Tears of the Kingdom, so you get tired faster and slow to recover. Interesting. And someone else? Yeah, you're gonna want stamina and fast. Maybe. Because for me, like, I really liked uh, getting, uh, which is weird. I really, really liked uh, getting. I should find a rock. Maybe. Or I could use. Construct horn. She. Oh, because I have to drop them for that. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. I'm an idiot. So first things I'm going to try is drop one of you. I'm going to go to sword. Can I fuse? <laughs> Not what I expected. Destroy fuse material. I want to... Then again, maybe it would. I should have looked at my heater thing. It probably would. No, it wouldn't. <laughs> From Twitch chat, also no infinite run glitch to abuse uh, either, like in Breath of the Wild. So, let's see. Yep, they made it so that you can't whistle and run at the same time. Very interesting. I'm fine. I'll go back to my axes to break boxes. Hmm. I wonder what stone axe and... Oh, stone axe! So it's probably a stick, but it just has a stone attached. Probably. Because I was looking at it, it was like, why does it have an outline? And then I looked at the other thing, which is a stick with a soldier thing. So, fused things already, like... Yeah, that's neat. Gotcha, 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 game. Alright, so we have some mine carts. Mine carts and fans. I can fuse a mine cart to a sword? Are you nuts, game? I'll go ahead and attach. Oh, no, that's not what I wanted. want it nice and yeah like that go ahead and how oh, nice that it locks in I'll probably still go by hand because all right ominous that it's dark because it wants me to use the bloom bulbs Let's see, where's the normal bulbs? Or can I not use this? Oh, they're there. So maybe I don't want to take all the bulbs. Or maybe that was the only super dark place to be. Hey, fear the dark! gonna teach me about the bulbs in the darkness this cave is especially dark you will need a light in order to proceed to the mining site ahead do you have any bright bloom seeds I'll say I'll ask anyway to get more information ah uh, you do not know of them the br blue bleh, glowing flowers there are bright blooms they shine very brightly 
Many use them as illumination in dark places. These bright blooms grow natively in caves such as this one. This cave has been picked mostly clean of them. That is because it is especially dark. The seeds were often necessary. I am posted here to provide a reminder to bring bright bloom seeds. By the way, did you know bright blooms require a stimulus to blossom? Striking a bright bloom seed or attaching it to an arrow will cause it to activate on impact. The bright bloom you see growing there is no different. I caused it to bloom. It will generally be on your best interest to use bright bloom seeds in dark places such as this. Well, then let's see. That seems very unnaturally dark, but cool. Oh, I can just... What are you? Well, apparently you don't like that. Uh, are there any rocks in here? I can... There are. Oh, maybe they're heavy rocks, and that's what you need. Okay, I keep forgetting that I need to go to fuse. Zonite! Uh, zonite. I have no idea how to pronounce that. An unusual mineral that has many purposes. Ancients extracted energy from it and refined it for the crafting of weapons and armor. Neat. <laughs> Did I bean a dead one with my light source? That's kind of... kind of sad. Okay, the fact that they're actually going up there... The Zonite... Hmm. I wonder if that's like a count-up of like, oh, you ca gathered up this... You shut the fuck up, whatever the hell's in there, demon. I will come kill you in a moment. So I guess I just didn't hit the Zonite enough to activate. Oh, Smith. We must have more Zonite. Interesting that these guys work in the dark. Those are this is very interesting. Well, I guess first I'll talk with. Well, I guess I should probably light up, and now let's talk to you. Hmm. Apologies for not noticing you. I was focused on processing zonite. Oh, are you unfamiliar with it? This is the Zonite I mentioned. It is a unique material that can be mined far beneath the land below. There are trace deposits of it on this island as well, but they are limited to this cave. Our society flourished by processing this substance into other materials. Zonite is processed by smelting it in a furnace. It is thereby converted into materials with useful properties. A few such materials will be ready for your review shortly. Wait one moment. Thank you for your patience. I will now explain what sorts of materials the ore can now be processed into. Zonai technology is typically powered by Zonai charges. I should probably... It's Zonai, not Zonai, but it's just like, Oh, Zonai, and brain is going bleh. These occasionally solidify into a form known as crystallized charges. Converting Zonite into a pro useful material in this way is called processing. Zonite charges are what power Zonite devices and constructs. A charge can be consumed to replenish your energy cell. Crystallized charges? Crystallized charges are a solidified form of Zonite charges. We mainly use them as raw materials in the construction of energy cells. Please visit any time you require processed minerals. Oh, so I can just exchange it here. That's interesting.
said to be used for energy cell improvement. How many do you require? I'll take seven. You want seven. I will require seven. I'll require 21 pieces of zonite. Thank you. I will process the zonite later. The resulting materials will be available to you once the processing is complete. So it's basically, oh, you have access to that, and then they'll, like, create more out of the... I like that. That's really, really cool. This cave previously had ample resources. It is gradually yielding less and less. That is why I require support, but my requests have so far gone unanswered. I must therefore continue to mine without resting. My behavior is not a threat. I'm helping you. It's not my fault that I have to swing at you to mine the thing. I hope that support will someday arrive. It was me, bitch. I am the support. I guess I'll grab the remaining crystals. There you go. That is all I have on hand. Please wait until I process more. I wonder what these are, but let's ask you. This is a minecart station. Excavated resources can be transported from here. Could it be that you have forgotten to bring Zonai capsules? Zonai capsules? You have forgotten yours, or perhaps you may not even know what I mean. Zonai capsules are a convenient means of carrying portable Zonai devices. It is unfortunate that you seem to have none. I will lend you a few spares. Zonai devices that pr produces wind. The ones I gave you were fan types. You can deploy them at any time. They will generate wind when struck. Zonai devices are useful and come in many varieties. I always carry several with me for any occasion. Many neglect to keep a healthy supply on hand. I keep watch for such individuals. The spares I gave you were the last ones I carried. Take care not to forget again. Remember that a device cannot be put back in its capsule. Think carefully before deploying one from your pouch. If I wanted to be super efficient, I'm going to be super efficient. I'm going to go grab that minecart that I already made and bring it through. But so far, I am adoring the vibes of this game. It is super cool. The many different, like, stuff they put in here is super cool. The light bulbs, the Zonai devices. It's like they took the basis of their physics engine and decided, what if we went even harder? And here we are, going crazy. I am enjoying this. And I don't even have all the powers yet. I mean, just looking at this, how many powers? <laughs> Look how many powers I am missing. I wonder, can I just pick it up? Yeah. I can pick it up! Feel the power of the fan. <laughs> Although I think I'm a little faster if I just ultra hand it. Power of the ultra hand. It beckons you to stand and fight. Let's -a go! Down the way. I can only imagine the, like, amount of different physics object interactions you can get in this game. And there, I don't have to use my capsules. Let's talk to you again. Do you still think help is never going to arrive? 
This game previously had ample resources. Yeah, less and less. Sadness. He does not recognize my aid. I have been forsaken by the little man. Let's go! This is cool. I wonder if, like, all of the... What is it called? All the minecarts from Goron Mountain are just gonna be gone. I'll take you off so you do not fall back down. The time bell that sounds from the Temple of Time rings at a set time each morning and evening. Along with the constructs, we woke to the sound of the bell. When we heard it in the evening, we knew that it was time to rest. Hmm. It also played its part in our traditional ceremonies. In a way, it was this place's beating heart. The sight of the temple and the sim sound of its bell stir fond memories in me. I can only imagine. This place does have like a mystical feel to it. Is that like the capsule maker? Do you make capsules? Ah, oh, maybe... Hmm. Um, what, do you, what do you do? Device dispenser operation confirmed. On track to meet today's Zonai capsule production target. Oh, do you want to use the device dispenser? I've nearly met my target. You are welcome to use it. Yes, this is a device dispenser. It produces Zonai capsules by converting certain resources. The resources it accepts are things such as construct horns and zonai charges. It, you can process resources that you hold by dropping them into the receptacle. It is similar to using a cooking pot. Shall I explain zonai capsules too? Zonai capsules are portable zonai devices in convenient pocket form. A device cannot be put back in its capsule after you have removed it. They are intended to be disposable. They are also plentiful. You can extract many zonai capsules from a single device dispenser. There is no harm in converting your spare resources into Zonai capsules. It ensures you will always have a few. Oh, I've lost track of time. It seems I've even missed the time bell. I will suspend my activities for now. The dispenser remains available to be used. Interesting. I'm interested. What do you do? Whoa! Flame emitter is when I device that shoots fire. It's thought to have been originally used as protection from monsters. Portable pods when I device for cooking food almost anytime, anywhere. It lasts for cooking one recipe only. Ooh! Ooh! Oh, that's that's too many. I'm interested. This is cool. I like this. That's very neat. Huh, another lonely Korok. One second, Korok. I want to wander around a bit. Hmm. What the fuck is that? It's Box from Hell. Very interesting. Oh, it even has, like, mining cave. Mining cave. Very interesting. Hmm. I wonder what I could do to, like... Because obviously these are all here to be like, ooh, you can make it. So I wonder if I could just lay down the boards to make a bridge across where I could just use a minecart. 
Well, let's talk to you. Where's your friend? Ah, uh, my friend and I got separated. Yep, just over there. My friend is sending up a smoke signal. I can't wait to catch up. I'm so tired, though. I can't move. <laughs> gotcha cab, the gotcha machine. Kind of does feel like that, doesn't it? Huh. That's kind of interesting. Hmm. Odd idea, but I kind of want to try. I could make a box and flip it over, make my own. Don't worry, we'll fix you. That's not what I wanted. I want it to be... Well, of course, you're kind of... off now. So I should probably... sit you over like this so you cannot fall over. Because I'm probably not actually going to use this, but I am... Interested to see the result of if I tried. And then, if I just yeeted it over, what abomination of my own creation have I made? A very terrible minecart for the looks of it. But I can just get my minecart that I made, probably set it over, and send the boy over. <laughs> First, we'll have to take the minecart of my evil creation off. If I really went crazy, I probably could have really made something out of it. Don't worry. You will not meet your end just yet. It's all your fault, <laughs> Korok. <laughs> all right. The fact that they just flop off is hilarious. Here is your friend. Thanks for bringing my friend. Here's something for you. Bye. I can only imagine those getting an even harder in the future. You have to carry a Korok half the way across Hyrule. <coughs> they actually take Korok seeds from you as a tax. My rock hammer is gone. I have been robbed by God. I still don't have, like, a warm doublet. And I don't know... Yeah, because up there it's definitely going to be cold. That's the last diddly D. I do think that maybe there's something down there, because... Like, uh, it would make sense for there to be. Oh, wait, that's the way I came. What? Okay, I need to see this with my own eyes. I want to see what's down this way. I should probably sneak up on some fireflies while I have the opportunity. There seems to be at least like 
a way down here. I wonder what is down here. Surprise, it's a Zonai Lionel. The ultimate of doom. From YouTube chat, you should play Scrap Mechanic on stream sometime. I do not know what Scrap Mechanic is. Nor do I know if I'd be good at streaming it or not. Don't think I've ever even heard about it. Oh, energizing elixir. Neat. I feel like I have five million arrows compared to normal. Very fun sandbox game. Hmm. Yeah. The main problem with me is that it very much depends on the kind of like sandbox games, because like some sandbox games I would be like horrible at for streaming, like uh, Minecraft. I would not be good at streaming Minecraft, I don't think. But like for some reason, Breath of the Wild and stuff just it feels good. Since I know that that's going to be super cold, I think I'm going to go for the cave and see what happens. Hmm. Like, I guess I could maybe get, like, a fan and... Well, that would require being able to hit it. I also need to be careful with this, though, because you can be placed outside of my range. Hmm, I think I might be able to get over there, but I don't know what you are, and you look scary. But I'm curious. So we shall save. Hello, demon. Oh, what the fuck? Oh, hello, cute boy. What the fuck are you? Where's your eyeball? You are scary. I will waste my stone axe to break you a bit. Jesus Christ, you scary. Wait, I should probably be like, hmm. Don't want to waste that. I feel like that wouldn't do much. What if I did this? Okay, that didn't do much either. You are just a freaky, freaky thing. Like, I, I think there's, like, a special way to kill you that I'm missing. Like, oh, maybe if I get up on your body and... Never mind. That's not what I want, game. I want to smack it, not climb it. I know it's a box, but still. Oh, no, Rubik's. Roll at me, idiot. I'm primed on you. What the fuck is that? I wonder what you actually are. Um, did I defeat it before I was supposed to? <laughs> this feels like it's a thing. Well, then again, I don't think they would, like, take it from you. It's weird that it's moving. Huh. 
Maybe I need to put the pole back. I am confuzzled with you. I'll fuse it with your weapons. Oh. I will gladly take that advice. What happens if I fuse it with the decayed master sword? Probably not much, but I want to see. Ah, oh, but the problem is I don't get a... Uh... Like a hoo hoo hoo, this is what it will be. So, that would feel, feel like a waste, so. <laughs> very neat. It just, it felt like, it, it's, it looked very special. So for some reason my brain was like, no, I can't just waste. It'll take, it'll be like, oh, I probably. Hmm. Yeah. There we go. Just for my brain, probably like, no, I can't use it. That'll be bad. It's not a thing that's very important. Thank you for that. I'd be... Because <laughs> my brain overcomplicates things. Normal peppers! Finally. Exactly what I need for getting into the cold area. Let's talk to you. Excuse me, the snowy mountain above us is extremely cold. Unprepared travelers will swiftly lose vitality and may even die. Are you fortified against the cold? Insufficient preparations can lead to death in harsh environments. My advice can avert this. Please listen carefully. The primary safeguards used by our creators were meals that warmed them. These meals were typically prepared using ingredients with warm-sounding names, such as ingredients will suffice. Uh, some also wore thick clothes or warmed themselves by a fire. These solutions were effective but less accessible. Be mindful of your ingredients when cooking. My understanding is that only one cooking effect can be applied per meal. You must take care not to eat something with a different effect afterward. The chill will set in again sooner than you expect. See, do I... I do have axes. I can't really smack you down. Hmm. Let's see. Well, lots of bulbs. They're giving me lots of materials. Which I do like. Oh, another ruby! Hello, freak. Loopy always runs away. Let's see. If you're looking for a shirt, there should be a little ruins or cave with the shirt. Probably nearby. Hmm. Part of me wants to say, <laughs> who knows, maybe they're right up here! Always take the crystal thing. I just figured I'd try to hit the bloopy if it was possible. Just didn't expect the bloopies to become something that looks scary. Then again, this does seem to be leading towards the cold. I wonder. Decayed Master Sword will still kill you. Oh, this is probably just... Further up from the... Yeah, from you. But I'll go through the cave, and if it gets cold, I'll head back and look for... Potential ruins. But yes, try not to be too spoilery. The existence of there being... Like a warm, cold thing around isn't terrible. But do try not to spoil, spoil things. The part of playing a game blind is to blindly experience it. 
for a moment there, I thought I saw a Korok. Just hanging out. Let's see. Because we came from there. Oh, maybe I need to get up there from the Koroks. And I didn't. Because I went one way. And then came back because I saw things that interested me. Well, let's go the full way. No, I do not want to... Fa I keep thinking that that is the... Holding down the rune button. Or I guess the ultra hand button. It's going to take a bit to get used to. Let's go! Yeah, they've really, like, basically revitalized Breath of the Wild. Because, like, I played Breath of the Wild not that long ago. And this is really, like, fresh. It definitely falls under this is basically, like, a super expansion. But, like, it... Oh, fuck. Son of a bitch! <laughs> I did not notice that that was broken. Okay, I think I understand why these boards are here now. <laughs> okay, I gotcha. Luckily, there's a free fan right here. Okay. Now the thought is... Hmm. How do I get across that gap? I would think maybe I need to... bring some of these across. Then maybe I can bridge the gap. So I feel like there should be a way to like get up there. Hmm. Well, obviously I can't like fuse it. Hmm. I wonder though. Like, uh, I doubt this would work, but one idea is ma- Hmm. I'm trying to think. Of how to get there. <gasps> ooh, ah, ooh, ooh, idea. If only I had more of the, uh, oh, hook. I could just do the hook. Instead. Maybe? Hmm. Hmm. Because it does seem to go over. So if I instead, like... Got the hook on, took that off. Do that instead. I was overcomplicating it. You probably got in the way, didn't you? Or it could just be that it's on the ground and wind doesn't push on the ground. Yeah, need to push up a bit. Hmm. 
Dang it. Oh, I've been using the Master Sword this entire time. I am a double fool. Okay. I'm gonna set this up to try and be like a... a wall so that it will... stop, uh... running into... Come on. Let me turn. I set that up as a... Yeah, that doesn't work. I'm a fool. But we need it to be on... This one. Always want to be in, in case the wind actually starts to work. Oh, there we go. Maybe I just need to let it live a bit longer. The creatures you fight get really hard, just be ready. I'm okay, though. Hopefully, I can use my wits. Granted, I should probably get good at the back flipping and sidestepping, but Brain is just like, nah, don't do that. Just smack him. Smack him hard. So, I charge. Very nice. Will you be a zonite? Warm doublet? <laughs> Portable pot. <laughs> I very much overestimated your value. <laughs> you know, the zonite charge, so it doesn't seem like there's much up here. Thought there would be. Thought there would be a bit more. I'll go ahead and drop you back down. First, make sure I'm actually over there so you don't fall into the abyss. Hmm. Yeah, nothing here. Don't think I think I did everything there. Yeah, I think I did everything over there. I think so. <laughs> then again, the warm doublet wasn't given to you right at the same place, so it could be... Oh, water. I'm a fool. Still like that there's, like, big, big splashes, because they're like, oh, hey, we're going to have the player way, way up. Let's make it so that they're way, way up and they actually feel it when they drop into water. Well, I'll go ahead and make some spicy food. And try to make my way, because I don't think that there was a thing. Hmm. I wonder, can I make spicy meat and seafood fry? Let us try. <laughs> Spicy meat and seafood fry. As if I could ever forget it. And also, I'm sorry, but that's just been bothering me. That's why is that... Make spicy fruit thing today. What if it was just apples? All right. Apples and these are top tier, apparently. Hmm. Oh, interesting. They actually have like, oh, I guess, oh, you found the secret, I guess, is what that stands for. So I missed a secret in the mining? Or maybe it's because they don't have a secret. Hmm. Forge construct. Yeah, device dispenser in inventory. Interesting. The downside is that there's like a bunch of 
like layers underground places here. So I think it'll be a little odd to like parse the Oh, I went underground. Oh, if you put certain things in the water, it tracks certain fish. Ooh. That's very interesting. That's a nice tip. Thank you very much. I'll go ahead and see. I'll need a eight minute. Like right on top of the thing. One thing I'm uh, like a little bothered by is sometimes the rotational doesn't rotate. Oh, maybe because I have to. Uh, there we go. There we go. I do like it. I do like the bong bong, even though I kind of would have missed it. Hmm. Interesting. So it looks like I might have had to have gone through the cave because it doesn't look like that's like passable, or it would have like led to a maybe like a different path, maybe. Hmm. But it definitely feels like they learned how to really push players in the way they want the player to go to give them experiences. I guess I'll talk to him. Ooh, maybe that'll be where it is. I'm constantly like, is that where the warm doublet is? The soldier constructs and captain constructs are only doing their duty to protect the Garden of Time. At the time, it was sadly necessary to protect our land from invaders. I'm terribly sorry for any threat they pose to you now. Smacked idiots. I'm like an almighty god. Let's see, I'll take the big bat. Even though I think it said that it didn't have good durability. But it's also interesting because they've given Link a companion for this game, Rauru. At least I assume so. It would kind of suck if he went to uh, King Rome and just immediately vanished upon us leaving the tutorial area. What are you? Oh, Korok. Yeah. I was just like, what the hell are you? Very interesting. Hmm. I just wonder. I'm kind of interested because it seems like there's like a way like beyond the cave like the cave is how to get up there but I thought like the cave and the like way under the archway would lead to the same place but now I'm doubting that, uh, that that's true now I need to check it out sate my curiosity Maybe 
here it'll just be a dead end. So really I should have gone this way first, even though... Hmm. Like, I guess I could get, like, the... Well, I say I could. It's potential that I could, uh, grab the chair, or not chair, the stair, and, like, swoop around, but that seems a little funky. So, nope. I thought, like, a little interesting. They're like, here, have a little taste of cold. Maybe. I thought it would have led somewhere. Onward we go. Because I feel like I've explored all the way over there. I'll definitely glance around once we get back up on top. And then we'll move onward. And I'm just going to triple check. There's the up from the Korok. And that's the, like, mines. I think. Yeah, because we had to go in to then loop underneath to make it all the way up. Which is very neat. Very cool design, like, level design. So I'm fairly certain I didn't miss anything major. Even though it does feel like there is a way to get there, I guess, like, getting on the other side. So onward we go. Considering the amount of, like, spicy peppers they give you. Do believe they insist I go forward. Oh, that's gonna be bothersome. Oh, why do you have less health than the normal chews? I just feel like that's mean. Normal chews who do not explode take multiple whacks. You that do explode, single whack. You are made of evil pain and evil. To hell evil's death with you. Or maybe Link just spontaneously just got very powerful. To my detriment. Well, there's a cave. Surely there's something in the cave. Five million ice chew. Yeah, go get him. Go get him. Get him! I think it's... Oh. It's the fire thing. Um... I guess I should add it to my shield. Why not? I shall take it with me. Did I knock the guy off? I... Oh, dang it. I knocked the guy off. Into the water he went. Hope he didn't have anything important. Like the power of God. Well, we should just make food for food. Discovery! Bottomless cave. Well, that's... Oh! They brought back the bomb flowers. Cool. Dangerous flower that contains explosive elements does not mix well with fire or electricity unless the goal is to blow things up. You bloopy. So this is how you access, like, the bottom part, probably. A rock salt. Says cannot be eaten in this form. That's coward's talk. 
Hmm, well, that's like a bigger... A bigger rock. I will take a bigger rock. Oh, it shrunk. Well, I'll wander around here. And then we'll... What the fuck? What in the name of hell? Um... I'm going to assume you're gonna be like, Ah, oh, feed me! That's not at all what happened. Oh, you caught on fire. Okay, you're taking a lot of damage, my dude. What if I just lit you on fire? Oh, chest! Cool! Like like stone. Like likes! Oh, they brought those things back. Cool. A strange round stone from a like like. Made of crystallized. Well, maybe not exactly like, but it reminds me of like those tube things from past Zeldas that eat you. It's a good ingredient for elixirs. But still uh, utterly horrifying. I forgot. Oh! Well, now my shield is more for attack than defense, I guess. I miss my pet glider so much. So this is definitely leading up to the top of the mountain. I think I heard a like-like. You take a lot of hits to kill like-like. What? Um... What? Where did I get a second flame emitter shield? Did I accidentally duplicate, or did that just... Is that just a normal creation? Oh. Open sesame! Welcome to the flame zone. Well, out into the cold we go. That's way down there. Mine. More spicy pepper. The power of spice. The power of spice. The power of space. Hmm, I should fuse this or something. What is a Captain Construct horn? I need to... Attach it to weapon to increase its attack power by five. Versus that's just a three. I guess so. <laughs> just create big ol' smasher. Dang it! The ice chews destroy me emotionally. Well, there's something up there, I think. Oh, is it gonna be another boss? It could be another boss. That one thing was the first boss I really ran into. Oh. Well, not that. I keep forgetting that's not the boss. Mine. More amber. Because yeah, there's a shrine up there. Beep. 
ice vertical surfaces are slick and hard to climb. Hmm. So I guess if I want it up there, I'm going to have to build a tree of my own creation for climbing. They even put it here as a wink, wink, nudge, nudge. Need it to be climbable. Make a bridge, a bridge to climb, climb away all of time. We make a bridge. Into the sky, where treasure lies. Don't worry, I'm coming for you. <laughs> Dang it. Maybe I need to make it <laughs> steeper. <laughs> ah, idea maybe. Come over here. It is a bit like possible for it to l roll off and uh, cause suffering. Yes. Not so yes. <laughs> I didn't make it fully. What are those? Ah, more flame emitters. All right, we're gonna sneak up on them and take them out. Ah, because they're the captain ones. Dang it. <laughs> So now that's damaged. All because of the geometry of the world. You're ugly. You're ugly. You're mean. Oh, yeah. And construct and oh, the bow just sunk into the ice. You're basically broken, so I shall replace you. This is a rusted broadsword. Hmm. Oh, you're about to break. So I could take this. Go into fusion mode. Drop you. To make super weapon. Kirk. Opal. And I can't carry these because they're not in. What's the word? Diddly dees. Capsules. Good. Didn't take damage. I can't climb you because you're ice. Taking it all in because it's all harsh and white, hard to see. Big on, Satan. I could theoretically climb the tree roots. Let's see. Okay, you're already open. Just wanted to make sure. Hmm. To activate. More of the heat power. I don't have the zone I diddly D enough to be able to fully survive. I probably have to take you. Hmm. Could probably even just you to crawl down there, the 
my big, big butt where you want to go up. I keep forgetting that's not the rune thing anymore. I do wonder if I'm missing the warm doublet somewhere. But who knows, maybe it's just right around the corner. resistance. Fine, we shall stick on an additional. Since you want to be so picky. One box. Hmm, so we got up here. Hmm. We'll definitely have to check down there. Uh, since we're here, might as well do it and see what we get. like how the shrines in here are done. Even though that's probably not like a really true like 3D entryway. It's still like a really cool thing. What powers do you bequeath to me now, Rauru? Ah, so you've made it here. Now then, extend your right hand. You have to specify right because you just know if you say, extend your hand, Link will put out his left because he feels like his right hand isn't his hand anymore. What the hell is that? Someone being struck by tree lightning? As ascend! Move upward through solid material and emerge on top of it? Really? Mm. This is the Ascend ability. It lets you travel through what's directly above you to ascend through it and emerge on top of it. You'll find it quite useful in all sorts of places and situations. Very! Mm. Okay. Use Ascend and receive the blessing from this shrine. Neat! Okay, wasn't it? Let's ascend! Oh, that's cool. Oh, that has so much application. And we can just stay in there to, like, scout out? Oh, that's cool. This is cool. This is very cool. Oh, chest. Didn't even realize. I wasn't even aiming for you. I wonder if there's a descend then. Again, rhetorical. Ah, oh, shit. Oh, yeah, I am able to like just stay there and scout it out a bit. It it pauses time. You dare see me? Illegal. I see you, game. I see you. I destroy these. And then I ascend. This is so cool. You 
save that game, but I'll drop that and get that. That's They've added so many quality of life features to this. This is so cool. And I wonder if this means that I could, like, create my own, like... That was freaky and cool. From Twitch chat, this is one of the weirdest powers. This is one of the most awesome powers. Definitely weird, but this is so cool. Okay, now I wonder... Because there's a limit. Got you. This is cool. This is cool. And it's neat that you can actually look around to scout things out. This is super, super cool. And I gotta say, like, the acceptance of the orbs feels a lot nicer than the monks for some reason. And grasp it. This is so good. Huzzah! One thing I gotta say is they really did up the the UI in this game. They really refined it, made it look unique compared to past Breath of the Wild, but also make it look very, very nice. This is so good. This is so good. Ah. I see you've restored some power to that new arm of yours. Mm. The door to the Temple of Time should now be open to you. You better not be gone for good, because you're kind of a neat guy. It'd be neat if you could stay around. But now... Cool power time! Ooh, a chest. And what are you? Archaic Warm Greaves. Huh. This feels like a... Hmm. Warm Greaves believed to be from a very long time ago. Despite the old look, the heat retaining material looks pleasantly resistant to cold temperatures. Interesting. What are these? Gliders? Hmm. Oh, I could also maybe... So it all depends on the height of the roof. And if there's anything there. This is so very cool. Well, I don't have a warm doublet, but I do have warm archaic greaves. I was gonna say... And now, rock for you. This is such a cool power. I could probably even use that. Well, no, not really. I'd be like, I could use that. To move things around. Probably not, though. More dispensing. My maintenance duties are complete for today. It has been another cycle with no visitors. Oh, this is a rarity. It is unusual for me to receive visitors here. 
I assume you'll require Zonai devices to descend the mountain. Would you like to use the dispenser device? I already did this. The altitude here is incredibly high. It is no easy task to descend the mountain. That is why I'm preparing wing-type Zonai devices. They're useful tools for making your descent. Zonai capsules are very convenient. They are a portable form of the Zonai device. You can retrieve at any time. And we shall definitely make use. Give me the power. Wing, a Zonai device that can harness lift to ride the wind. To fly farther, try balancing in the center of the wing. So, not many... Like wings in that one. <laughs> this is still such a cool thing. Portable, portable fan, wing, fan, portable. I only got one wing from that one, too. I keep forgetting that's not where that is. <laughs> Oh, neat, they actually have aerodynamics. We'll talk to him, but then I kind of want to climb down to, like, that area. Below. Let's see where things are. But hello, Rauru. Mm. The Zonai devices were the pinnacle of our technology. We built an advanced civilization with them and flourished for many, many years. Oh. If you can master the use of the Zonai devices, your quest will be much easier. I can only imagine. Yeah, because we're going to have to make it all the way back around down there, slide down, adventure around. Yeah, they really went all out with the different... Just like, just stuff everything. Send is gonna come and clutch. I just know it. If there's even just a just enough of an overhang, I'll be able to sneak my way into places. Won't be able to like fully zloop up to many many places. Quite a few probably. And I feel like the archaic snow pants should buy me enough like, cold resistance to be able to not be afraid of the cold. Get flamed. Plus this allows me to get more resources. I don't think I... I don't think I did that. Wonder if I can ascend? It seems too far away, though, so probably not. Oh, I can! And this does seem pretty far up, so... Probably, yeah, right where I thought I'd be. That was very cool, like, would not help me much. For a moment, I thought that was a minecart, and back. Like, oh, I can maybe tie the minecart to a Zonai flyer. Hmm. I would think that the water would freeze me and kill me. So that probably wouldn't help much. Keep forgetting. Huh. 
Oh, how do I activate you? <laughs> would be funny if I could just do that. Huh. I am... I thought it would be just simple, hit it and go, but it doesn't seem to be. Hmm. <laughs> we can tie the wing to my rusty broadsword. That'd be hilarious. But... Hmm. Oh, probably because they're... Ah, oh, they need to be set, it looks like. I want to confirm. So they're not ones that can really be activated, activated. They have to be placed like a... Oh, but... Yeah, go back around. I want to get to the cold area. From above! Right, idiots. It's me. Here to blast ya. Mice fruit. A fruit generates cold when struck. Gives off effect string muscles and increased attack power in cold areas. That's kind of neat. Not at all what I expected from a flyer. But it basically seems that you just launch it, not activate it. More fans! And yep, we have enough cold resistance to resist the cold. Wander around a bit and then try to make our way back. And the stone axe. <laughs> Gather up our resources, adventure a bit. Then, of course, comes to us, we can always ascend way back up. Lots of rafts. Oh. I thought you were an enemy. Confirming raft and zone I operational status. Ah, uh, pardon my rudeness. Do you require a raft? The ones by the riverbank are ready for use. The uh, zone I device has already been expected. The rafts by the bank are fully operational. Hmm, it has grown late. I was too immersed in my duties to notice. I will rest until the next time the bell chimes. Very interesting. I'm just gonna constantly run into stewards and be like, oh my god, is that an enemy? And I swear, the game has given me a billion, just a billion arrows. Also, this game loves fog. Or, like, fog-like conditions. Not you! Every time I try to melee those things, they explode in my face. I will miss bombs. Oh, hey, cricket. I don't... Would a cricket survive this level of cold? I don't know. Always sad to come across the dead guys. I get so many arrows. 
I have to work to get this much arrows in Breath of the Wild. Here they're just like, yeah, have it! All for you. I keep thinking that that's going to be my... I keep thinking it's going to be the right one. But this is very, very cool. The systems that they're putting out there. We'll explore a bit. And then probably head to... The Temple of Time. I wonder, can I even shield surf? <laughs> it doesn't look like I can. Funny. It makes sense. Oh, oh. For a moment, there's like, oh, is that like the ice berry bush? Apparently not. All right. So it's just a korok. I keep thinking that that's going to be the one. <laughs> it never is. I always think it will be. Have the D-pad. Yeah, indeed. I just realized I probably kind of screwed myself. Because the raft is over there. far away from... No, I should be able to get it. Maybe. Maybe make a bridge to it. I gotcha. Yeah, mine. Mwahaha. Let's see. I wonder why the energy cell looks like a spine. Also, why is this a key item? Just realized that. I guess maybe it's just so that people don't waste them, but still weird. <laughs> I screwed myself a million times this game. You learn to get o uh, get over time. You can bet that when it comes to Zonai devices, definitely need to put them on solid land. Or doom. Especially when it comes to icy divides of doom. Oh, like immediately another, or was that a different one? I think it might be a different one. I was going to say like immediately another axe has spawned, but I think it's just... Many, 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 many. I find it kind of funny, I guess. Like, in this game, they give you the archaic boots. In the first game, they give you the warm doublet. Again, unless I missed it. <laughs> so you like your flamethrower shield? I just haven't really used it that much. It probably discouraged me from actually... Guarding because of like, oh no, it's wasting my Zonai energy. So I should probably take that off or swift to a different shield. But I have two. I am haunted by it. I forget, have I even been over here? It's hard to tell. Like, as much as I do praise this place, I'll be like, oh, it's so much more unique than the Great Plateau, it's also a little bit confusing. Then again, it's the first time that I've really played this game. From 
YouTube chat, by the way. Be really cautious of monster camps early game. Will do, will do. Like, maybe I'll save before running into one just to gauge my own experience, but considering that my go-to plan originally in, like, Breath of the Wild is using the bombs to spam enemies down, especially when I upgraded them, I could definitely see this game being more punishing due to the lack of bombs. I just want to glance over. Can I teleport? The ability to combine. No way to teleport just yet. So, let's see. So, bottomless cave is apparently done. I wonder why these get like a que like a check mark, but the mining cave doesn't. Very interesting. But yeah, this place is very interesting. Very very interesting. I guess to end off the stream, let us go back to the Temple of Time. And finally meet Princess Zelda. And hopefully, like, <laughs> hopefully there won't be a bomb. Li or like a... Hopefully there won't be a bomb. Just a boss that is a bomb. He runs at me, explodes, we all die. And from YouTube, bomb flowers fuse of arrows. That's true. I did, I did try those against the like-likes. And plus, like, bomb, like, I'll be able to make my own bomb arrows. But only if I have bomb plants. What is past the door? You'd think we'd just be able to knock and be like, Princess Zelda is me. Is Lonk. Let me in. But I guess I got rid of all the evil inside the arm, and now it's happy, happy. Oh, it's the... It's like the... You know, getting a look at this, I was calling them, like, quotation marks before, but... It, this reminds me of, uh, the thing from Ace Attorney, the Magatama, I believe. Hmm. And it seems kind of see-through, because this also is like the thing that was on the arm that, or like uh, on Reiru, Raru's arm when he was sealing Ganondorf. So I wonder what this is. <laughs> this will be the... <laughs> I think it's Magatama. It's like in that same kind of shape. So it might be drawing the same kind of inspiration. Hey Zelda, why are you in the spirit realm? Are you the Magatama? I guess I shall reach out with my fucked up arm. Or are you gonna disappear again if I reach out and be like, oh, you failed, you didn't grab me. You did turn into light and disappeared, so did you like go to the realm of Hylia? And you're wearing the thing. And now I'm absorbing the power, I guess. <laughs> Will I have more <laughs> power? Will this be like a shrine? Zelda, you seem really conked out. You're not even saying anything. New power? New power. 
into the center of the diddly D. And she's just gone. <laughs> From Twitch chat, hand holding, how naughty. Link is too pure for hand holding. So, where is Zelda? I guess technically you were correct. Recall, reverse an. Reverse an object's movement until it goes back to where it was. You can stop the reverse movement anytime. And there's still two power! There's still two powers left! Hmm. Ah, recall. The ability to reverse the movement of an object through time. Well, I guess this is the Temple of Time. That kind of makes sense. And Zelda has vanished as well. Hmm. What you just saw, it's a mystery even to me. Perhaps it was a sort of echo, one that reflects her sheer will. Yeah, but I was told that I would meet it. I guess technically I did meet her. And I guess the reason you don't know is you're stuck to your hand, so... You know what I know. <laughs> that you've now been given this ability. No doubt it will prove important. Well, obviously I need to reverse these to get up there. It's like... Stasis, but reversed. Oh, this is so cool. It even has kind of a Zawarudo to it. I thought that was actual voice acting at first. I will take that as a compliment. Thank you very much. Oh! Hylia statue! Bring back my princess, you bitch! You have a creepy smile. The goddess statue smiles upon you. D that's it? You just smile upon me? Very rude. I will open. It requires two hands. <laughs> Oh! Oh, this is that. This is that again. Hmm. I need multiple hearts for this. Mm. You remain in a weakened state. You're not yet strong enough to open it. But there is one more shrine on this island. There you can get another blessing. You add that to the other blessings you received at shrines and offer them all to the goddess. You might just find your way forward after all. Mm. Let me see the Purapat. The Purapat lets you travel to certain places instantly. Now see all the blue markers on your map. You can travel instantly to any of them. I suggest the one at the bottom of your map. Use the travel function to reach that area quickly. You'll find the last of the silent shrines around there somewhere. Around there somewhere, you say? <laughs> oh. Off we go. <laughs> From YouTube chat, you sound like Raru. Thank you. I really like voice acting like RPGs. It allows me to be more immersed in the story and just be like, oh boy, I get a voice things. Oh, I see where I need to go. Reverse power up. Bird up. I keep thinking that that's how I change runes. Oh. That's interesting. A little weird that that's a rune, but okay. I guess not a rune, but still. <laughs> Neon, you should voice on Comic Dub. Funnily enough, I, uh, not too long ago, that was part of a project. I forget what the name of the comic was. Ah, I forget. But I was part of, like, a 
voice acting a comic. A fan voice acting. A fan dub. I forget the name of the comic. I think it's like Stray Dogs? It was like a mini comic series. I don't think the last, uh, buh buh buh. What is it called? The last, uh, get my brain in there. The last issue has been dubbed and uploaded yet, but all but one has. This is a crystal refinery. I can take your crystallized charges and use them to produce wells. What's energy wells? An energy well can increase the capacity of the energy cell you are carrying. This increased capacity will allow you to use Zonai devices for longer periods. I can produce these energy wells for you if you bring me crystallized charges. Get producing! Oh, Jesus! That's a lot. Well, into this shrine I go. What power be in here? But otherwise, I have tried to audition for different voice acting diddly dees. Because, like, a long, long time ago, back, like, God, almost a decade now, when I was using a Blue Yeti, I did a lot of, like, voice acting for this guy that did uh, heavily edited Lego stop motion DC and Marvel stuff. There was also a really janky Dragon Ball Z Christmas parody where I did Vegeta giving Piccolo a car and then ran away crying because, like, you know I can just fly, right? The ability to rewind. Just gonna glance around for any chests. I keep forgetting that's not a thing. You know, I'm interested. What happens if I do this? And then swap to reverse? It even tells you the route it takes! But it probably depends on the speed of the rewinding. that falls down. It falls down a little clunkily, I would say, for a falling down a waterfall. But this is so cool. That's gonna be a really fun ability to abuse. Ah, clock things. <laughs> Zawarudo! I have to do that every time. It's like legally. Legally obligated. It's because I need to line them up and then reverse them. Got you. <laughs> That's so cool. They must have had so much fun designing these. Visitor of the Shrine of Light. That which imprisons and purifies ancient evil. You have done well to reach this place. Give me your light. Give me the light. Give me the power. I wonder if I could reverse enemies. I think that'd be funny. Might suck if I reverse damage, but hey.
This game is so fun. This is so good. Just like the vibes of it. The vibes is just great. The character designs, the pacing, it feels very, very, very interesting and good. It's just so good. And now we have access to this place to upgrade our Bibbidi Ba. Which will be very nice. Just like, <laughs> so long as we can get it later. Have to get the billions, trillions. Huh. Wait, I, I want to go to the top now. Does, could I have gotten here at any point? Could I have sequence broke? It seems like very steep and the answer will be no, but... Then again, it could be a maybe. No, 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 because it actually forced me out and like, oh, here's a big jump. Because this is the beginning, beginning. Well, I'm glad I went this way because treasure chest. Ah, just wings. How dare you not get headshot when I shoot you in the head. For a moment, I heard the noise and I thought, like, of it charging at me, and I thought it was an Octorok. Oh, no. I do not wish to drown. Oh, we got... I swear, I think I got, like, tons of Korok seeds. From here. I do not think this amount of Korok seeds exists in the, like, Great Plateau. I will say, I am much more engaged in the beginning of this than I was Breath of the Wild. But that could have just been that I had experienced the opening of Breath of the Wild a decent amount of times, so... I keep forgetting that's not the button to activate that. To change my powers. Well, we can always just dive bomb it. Oh, Jesus. I wonder if we have these is because they actually, like, got rid of the paraglider, but they couldn't have. I think I made a huge mistake. This is very interesting, but, uh... I feel like I'm going to die. I think it, they might have expected me to teleport after I did that. Did the shrine. What happens if I land on top of the Temple of Time? I kind of want to do that, but I don't want a sequence break. Why is it glowing? Why are you glowing? Um, are you going to run out of... <laughs> you are illegal! Get. Nope, that's not what I wanted. I'm gonna miss. I'm dead. Why'd you go out? Why would they even give me that if it's not what the hell? It's crazy. My first death, it's because of the technology. You gave me a glider and then didn't let me glide. This is why I want the paraglider. 
I know that the paraglider would be kind of OP at this section of the game, but still. So I could teleport. Actually get it out of the way. Granted, like, the shrine's right there, so if we ever wanted to, we could, so. Mm -hmm. Trying to think of the best way to get down. I guess the best way to get down might be to put them and then actually jump into a like lake probably that'd probably be simpler so the fact that these just vanish into thin air is evil and I can rewind it okay goal is lake I just need to not land on a lily pad. This is a really cool mechanic. But... Still kind of crazy. I was not expecting it to run out of energy. Like, that thing, that thing feels like too much potential power. My brain will be like, oh, there's so many things I can do with this, and then just fry. Oh, there's a jump point here. At first, I was just like, oh, it's just flashing. I wonder why that is. But that'll show me. And at least my first death was in an interesting way. go to the temple of time now that my spine isn't broken need to grab that before I forget I'm I am never going to default to L holding summoning a wheel to change my rune powers I'm always gonna be like oh hold up it's always gonna be it because I'm just default to that. Pre played too much Breath of the Wild. The only downside is I do have to do the rewind. Like, puzzle again, but it's very simple puzzle. Yeah, I really like how they did the tutorial this time. It was much more in-depth, felt more story important. Just felt really, really good. <laughs> Sticks and stones can break my bones, but only a faulty glider can kill me. I wonder how many people in, like, how many deaths can be attributed to purely. Oh, as I'm a fool. Luckily, I can spam it. That's, I really like it. I think this might be better than Stasis slightly because there isn't such a big recharge time. I got zone eye orbs. Will you take them? You who have conquered the shrines and claimed their lights of blessing. In exchange for four lights of blessing, I will grant you power. I will take my only option of heart container. Granted, I would have done that anyway. 
I just realized we have the hilt of the Master Sword. No idea what we're going to do with that. Okay, the fact that we're just uh, exuding some kind of malice is very much not nice. Go, bring peace to the world. I did that, and then Ganondorf came back. I shall save. Because I can. And now... <laughs> this is like, puffs out chest. Push! I wonder how many doors... How many doors is the Temple of Time gonna have, I rhetorically ask? Because this is not a one-and-done thing. It'd be hilarious if there was an even bigger door on the other side. Ah, my arm's glowing. Raru? Are you gonna betray me for your arm back? That'd be a hilarious twist at the end. Oh, good. I see you have managed to open the door. That I did. You haven't fully recovered yet, but that is to be expected. You're almost beyond saving. By visiting the shrines and receiving their blessings, you have mitigated some of the corruption's effects. So I'm literally corrupted by evil. Though our time together has been brief, I am so happy that we finally... Are you gonna leave? I want you to stay and be a companion. You're an awesome guy. You are exactly as Zelda said. It'd be nice if you stuck around and be a helper friend. I've done everything I can for her. Now it is up to you. Ah, damn it. You you are the King Rome of this. Now you're gone. But I don't have a full re wheel yet. Damn it, you're cool. And you're a furry and now you're just gone. Damn, it would have been nice if you were just like a... I have your arm! Why are you leaving me now? Oh. Oh, because I can then ascend. <laughs> Keep forgetting that I can ascend. Oh, and I can uh, reverse if I don't like it. <laughs> so basically, I can go up there and be like, Oh, what's up here? And then like, oh god, evil, run away. Will it be my, uh... My dear paraglider? What's up here? With Zelda? Well, I guess Zelda was able to talk to Raru, but Raru didn't know what's going on. Okay, the fact that this looks like a sacrificial bed. And that there's just a sparkling light here. Ominous. You want me to reverse time on the ball of light? Hand? Oh, ma oh, is this going to be a upgrade light for the Master Sword? Make you into the... Uh, Master Tagger? Man, the sword's just crying out, fix me. Oh, it's reversing the damage. I guess, kinda. It's tick-tocking. What, 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 it, what? Zelda's stealing my sword? Zelda's the real evil. From YouTube chat. Hi. Hello, hello. But that's... Did we teleport 
it, or was this actually, like, reversed through time? Also, where did Zelda get the new drip? Yeah, it's just like, I lost my Master Sword. Fuck. Fly has abandoned me. Wait. Okay, one of the dragons. Is it Farosh? Looks kind of like that. I think it's Farosh or however you say her name. Giuseppe splicing the clouds. Awesome music. I'd like a paraglider, though. Can Zelda send me one of them through time? Link. Oh, hey, Zelda. Fuck's that? Link. You must find me. Can I just follow my master sword? Uh, find Princess Zelda. Why does it... First off, what the fuck is that? Second off, what do you want me to do, game? I don't have a paraglider. Let's go to the quest, I guess. At the Temple of Time, you saw the Master Sword vanish in a mysterious light. A white dragon then rose into the sky, parting the Sea of Clouds. You're sure your Princess Oda say, Link, you must find me. Head to the land below to look for clues for her whereabouts. There's a faster way to do it than dive bravely from the Sky Island. Well, I guess there is, like, a... Is there a water down there? There is water down there, I guess. There are lakes. I shall first save. I will make the dive. Ready to reenact Skyward Sword? I guess. I've never played Skyward Sword. Let's see what the land of Hyrule is like. Oh, that's, that's what that was. There's a lot of, like, pools of malice going around. Floating islands. The land seems different. What the hell is that? To the water I go. Yeah. Yeah. Gotta get to a lily pad. And I got under a lily pad because they suck. You'd think the, like, Hyrule castle would be up higher. Oh, shrines. I guess I should have saw that coming. Where the hell did these, like, fruits come from? I wonder. All right, dazzling. Break it until the sh so it's basically our electro arrows. Also mark that, I guess. But still, what is that? I guess like the top of the Colosseum. Which, and uh, I think that's like Mount Lanayru. Well, these are what? Well, they're actually pretty. Well, are you pretty close? It's hard to tell. New towers out and about. I wonder what happened to the shrines and the shrine towers. Glancing around. Yeah, because... Oh, map layers! Oh. This place is going to be nightmarishly big. Oh, boy. Oh, but it's kind of neat that there's kind of like still a rough, like, sketching without information. But I think that there was also a... Ooh, a, a, a diddly D, a sable. I, I, keep, I keep pressing that because I keep expecting that to be the thing, but it's not. Well, we're gonna head to a stable. Hello, Bacoblin, I guess. What the fuck? 
Bacoblin in chief, I guess, because it has a hat. Yeah, no. <laughs> I see a giant moblin with a fuck off hammer. So off I fuck. I wonder, can I send these rocks skyrooting back? I cannot. That would have been fun. I guess it has to be something that has moved recently, which I guess that makes sense. Hmm. I probably should have gone and killed that one Bacoblin in chief. Just because I can. But the first thing we're going to do after we kill Bacoblin in chief is head to the stable. Maybe do that shrine. And then we'll probably end. Hey, freak. Are you just unheadshotable because of your hat? Bacoblin horn! Okay, you're just new. A sharp horn with multiple barbs. Attach it to a weapon to increase its attack power or cook up a critter to make an elixir. Oh, that's cool. They're kind of combining that aspect. Making... Like, uh... Monster parts into damaging things. So it's gonna be less... Bacoblin guts and stuff. And more... Like, Bacoblin claws. Bacoblin claws sounds like Santa Claus that comes into your house to steal your walnuts. Let's see, what weak thing do I have? I don't even have my frickin' Master Sword anymore. I've been stolen from. Gonna sneak up on these stupid fucks and then I'm gonna crack their skulls open. Sneaky, 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 sneak. You picked a bad time to sleep, you bitch. So yeah, they got rid of Bacoblin fangs and Bacoblin t horn... But, and, well, I guess they just changed the horn. They evolved. Can't carry any more melee weapons, you dare say. I will take your rock hammer. Considering that there is a platform up there, I wonder what that is. Well, we should probably head to the stable... Hmm. And I don't have Cryonis to cheat things. I mean, I guess I could try and make a raft. Use Zonai things. Or I could just cut down a bunch of trees and make a bridge lazily. Well, time to make a lazy bridge. I keep thinking that that's the one. But I feel like Hyrule's going to be very interesting to explore now. Is there a dude on the docks? Hmm, there is. We'll have to go talk to him. Is he going to be like, oh my god, Link! My lover! Where have you been? That'd be a hilarious thing, especially because we have no context to anything. Is he telling the truth? Is he lying? You decide. I do kind of like that the monsters are different from what I expected. Because it means that there are going to be surprises for everything. Also, Hylian Pinecone. That's new. When did Hylia get pine cones? Did they recently evolve? <laughs> Were they an endangered species because of the calamity and now they're back in force? Let's see. If only I could find, like, a place where... It would get caught. I need, like, one more tree. And I missed one that I downed anyway. I'm a fool. Well, apparently I can pick up something over there, but I don't know what that is. This 
apparently a lot of things that I can just see with my power. Perfect. Who needs cryonis when I can make bridges? I'm going to be cutting down more trees than I ever have before. Wetlands stable. Leneru wetlands. You don't say. Well, they even have... What the hell's that? Also, it's faster than Magnesis. What is this? That's interesting, but I'll talk to you. I'm sorry, Mr. Customer, but I haven't got a single minute to spare right now. But the stable's open. You can ask at the counter if you need anything. All right, so this is a control thing. Okay, I, I have to try. Dang it, I'm slipping away. If I, like... Okay, so there's, like, whole pieces to this. What's this? What even is that? What are these? Hmm. Or maybe... Hmm. Well, first things first, let's... Oh! Oh, so it does work. <laughs> so that can be very cool. It'll probably dismantle and disappear, because I can't take them in. Yeah, don't worry, we're about to end, because I've just been going on and on. Swim speed when ingested, and pressurized water, so I could devastate... People. Hello there. Oh. You're a night owl, I see. Oh. Welcome to my stable. We do in all things horse related. We also double as an inn. Hmm. Seems you're not a member yet. Hmm. Our stable uses a stable association's membership system, so you'll need a register if you want to use it. May I ask your name? I'm Link. Oh. Link, all right, Mr. Link, there. You're all signed up. Now, would you like me to tell you about the stable system? Sure. Oh. Then allow me to explain. You can board your horse companions with us and then summon them as you please from our network of stables. You may have come across wild horses during your travels. Oh. If you catch one and ride it here to register it, it'll become your horse companion. There's a limit to how many horses you can board, but you're always able to swap them out if you please. Oh. Once again, welcome to our stable. I completely forgot to explain how pony points work. Pony points? Uh -huh. That's right, it's a reward system. You can use at stables. In short, every time you use a service, you get points. No matter what stable you go to, you can get points for lodging there, registering a horse, stuff like that. Here's a little something to mark your first visit to Wetland Stable. You get a pony point! Using a stable earns points. Collecting points grants rewards. Points needed for next reward, too. Uh -huh. Interesting. You can trade your pony points for prizes at the ledger there. Very interesting. Oh. I see when's the next stream. I try to stream every Monday, Wednesday, and Saturday. So the next stream should be Saturday. And honestly, I think we might do more <laughs> Tears of the Kingdom because this is amazing. I wish I could just select that and be like, oh, add that to my diddly -dee. Well, What's this? Work in progress. Do not touch the proprietor. Interesting. Hey, Beetle. Hey. hey there! Are you a fellow traveler on the journey of life? It's me, Beetle! If you forget, my beetle-shaped back is right here to remind yeah, you. Yeah. In this topsy-turvy world, there's only one direction to go forward! So when I travel, it's forward all the way! A little disappointing you don't remember me. <laughs> Gemstones in particular fetch a high ah, price. Ah. Let's see, what can I even sell you? Hmm. If only I could sell you arrows. I have a ton of them. Hmm. 
Thanks for your business. Do you need anything else? Hmm, from Twitch chat. Huh, strange it didn't happen. Hmm. I wonder if it's because I play, like, uh... Because I was playing uh, Breath of the Wild on a different profile. So maybe I need to play Breath of the... Or the, maybe I just borked it, which is sad. Oh, well. Because... Uh, I wanted to research the Rito in pre Va Meadow, so I used a different, like, Switch profile to do that, and I didn't play Breath of the Wild since, uh, like, on my main Defeated Calamity Ganon profile, so I wonder if that could have been it. Then again, it should have been able to go, like, oh, this profile played this and this, select them. I don't know. Hope I didn't miss, like, save carryover stuff. But I do believe that that shall be that. We may have, we went for almost five hours because this game is just, yeah, it just hit me. Super good. Yeah, because you were supposed to get your horses. Hmm. I'll definitely look into that. And if it's, like, super borked since, like, it's not like, super big. Maybe I'll just grind back up here. <laughs> but I'll research that. From you, Jeff. All right. See you on Saturday. Thank you for spending my your time with me today. But that'll definitely be it, because we've been going for a long, long time. I'll definitely look into why safe carryover stuff didn't happen. See if I can fix it. Or grind back up and fix it. That will be it for now. We've made a lot of progress. We made it down to Earth. That was a long tutorial, which I do appreciate. Set the tone. Just like, also felt like there was a bit more music. There's a lot more mechanics, which is really, really cool. It's like really, really fun. But next time, it should be Saturday at 5 p.m. Central Standard Time, either on YouTube or Twitch, depending on your preference. Everything that I do can be found in my link tree, which can be found directly linked in the bios, descriptions, and link places of the various sites. Linktr.ee slash NeonIcyWings. So if you want my main YouTube channel of edited content, YouTube streaming, Twitch streaming, with all these VODs being uploaded to the YouTube streaming channel after the fact, various art places and writing places, I put my writing and my art or my Patreon, which is a glorified donation bucket for the extraordinarily kind, all linked in my link tree. But yes, but yes, thank you very much for watching, everybody. Just remember, be you, be true, be happy, but most importantly, be kind and stay hydrated, and thank you for spending your time with me. Bye. Bye.